Irwin Memorial Pineapple Run, Saturday, April 10th at 8 a.m. behind Huntsville Memorial Hospital. We're raising awareness about the dangers of distracted driving and how we can stop it. You can run, walk, or participate virtually. There's a driving safety expo that's free to attend. It'll have a kid's corner, Jaws of Life demonstration, texting while driving simulator, and lots more. Sign up now and bring your family. Go to runsignup.com slash stop DD5K. That's runsignup.com slash Stop DD5K. Help stop distracted driving with the Peyton Irwin Memorial Pineapple Run, Saturday, April 10th, with your friends at 101.7 KSAM. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. Bearcats, Rob Hip has every call from the first pitch to the last strike. Now let's check in with Rob at the ballpark. All right, well, a pleasant good evening, friends, and welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Bearcat Baseball on 1017K Sam and the Bearcat Sports Network. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your Tuesday evening with us. We're scheduled for a 6.30 p.m. first pitch as your Bearcats hosting the Aggies of Texas A&M. In fact, it's the shortest trip of the season for Texas A&M here as we slip out of a little conference play go to some non-conference play Sam Houston on a six game winning streak that all started going back to March the 27th part of the double header the last of that double header on Saturday a nine to four victory and then on March the 28th closing out the series versus Texas A&M Corpus three to one that was a seven to six victory then and then hitting the road to Conway battling Central Arkansas in four games, winning all four of those games, setting up a good one here tonight, facing, again, the Aggies of the Big 12. We'll step aside and take a break. When we come back, we'll have starting lineups and more. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. Hello, I'm Kim Thomas, pastor of Warren Chapel United Methodist Church, and I do support the HISD bond issue. It is our kids, our voice, their future, our choice. Vote yes to HISD champions. Vote for their tomorrow. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip live from the Don in beautiful Huntsville, Texas. It is Texas A&M here as your Bearcats hosting them. Tonight, we'll quickly talk about the Aggies. 19-11, and 3-6 in the SEC. They're on a two-game skid. 2-3 two of their last five. 4-6 and six of their last ten. The last game at Missouri was a loss 3-7. to seven. Under head coach Rob Childress, the Northwood alum of 1990, 612 wins, 320 losses, and three ties in his 16th season, all of them at Texas A&M. For your Bearcats, 12 and 13 this season, 9 and 7 in the Southland on a six game winning streak of their last five, of course, 5 and 0, 8 and 2 of their last 10. The last victory, part of that four game series at Central Arkansas, a 10 to 4 victory. Head coach Jay Siriano, the Nebraska alum from 2001. He has 19 wins and 20 losses in his second season, all of them again here at Sam Houston. Talk a little bit more about the Aggies, as I mentioned earlier, on their shortest road game of the season. Just heading right down 30, about an hour from College Station here to the Don Sanders. It is first pitch again slated for just after 6.30 or so. Texas A&M enters this contest on the hills. Two losses at Missouri, while the Bearcats again on that six-game winning streak. The Aggies Tuesday night starting pitcher Nathan Detmer allowed just one earned run over 30 and one-third innings in his six starts, yielding three overall on 21 hits and 11 walks. He struck out 28 in a .3 ERA, two 10 opening batting average. This A&M team ranks high on the NCAA pitching charts, number six in strikeouts per nine innings at 11.7. They're number nine in strikes 
to walk ratio at just over three and a half. Number 21 in the earned run average and 27 in walks allowed per nine innings. This is an AM team that starts early. They do good damage through the first two innings. That game versus Missouri, though, all of the damage came there in the fifth inning when five runs were put up against them. Starting lineups tonight here, we'll start with the Texas A&M Aggies again, 19 and 11. They will start in the one, two, and three. The second baseman, the senior, Bryce Blom. Batting second, a center fielder, senior Ray Alejo. Batting third, senior Will Frazell. Batting fourth, cleaning up the junior, designated hitter, Austin Boast. In the fifth hole, the freshman, left fielder, Ryan Targotch. A junior batting six, third baseman Zane Schmidt. And in the seven, eight, and nine to start the bottom of the order, the sophomore right fielder Logan Britt, the senior catcher Mikey Hayner, and last but certainly not least, the freshman shortstop number four, it is Kalai Harrison. We'll send it over now for our country's national anthem. We'll have Sam Houston starters in a moment. Stay with us. Beautiful rendition of our country's national anthem. We went over Texas a and starting lineup. The pitcher tonight starting, getting the start, the freshman right-handed pitcher, Nathan Detmer. So Nathan Detmer again getting that start for Texas A&M. Only a freshman appeared on the mound in eight games in his first year at Aggieland. Five starts, logged a two and one record with a 1.37 ERA, 27 strikeouts as I minutes, minutes, mentioned earlier in 26 and one thirds innings, earning his first collegiate win against Houston Baptist back on March the 2nd. Working six scoreless frames, scattering three hit while fanning seven and walking one, earned his second win of the season versus AM Corpus Christi on March the 9th. In that one, five and one third scoreless innings as he yielded three hits, three walks while striking out one. Also worked two scoreless frames and a come from behind win over Georgia on March the 27th. Only gave up one lone walk and fanned out three. Again, Nathan Detmer starting things for Texas AM on the mound. Your Sam Houston State Bearcats will start leading off the freshman shortstop, Anthony McKenzie. It's a left fielder, junior, number 44, Jack Rogers. And you talk about a young man who took care of business in the closing game as he had three home runs as the Bearcats completed that sweep on the road in Conway versus the University of Central Arkansas. Three of Sam Houston's five home runs on the day brought to you by Jack Rogers. Again, in the second hole here tonight. Batting third, the sophomore center fielder, Colton Kowser, cleaning up the senior catcher, number 43, Gavin Johnson. In the fifth hole, it is the first baseman, number 27, the junior, Corbin Vines. Batting six, junior, number nine, designated hitter, Bryce Holmes. And then the seven, eight, and nine, starting with the junior, right fielder, number three, Blake Facher. The freshman, third baseman, number 11, batting eighth, Mason Schultz. And last, but certainly not least, for Sam Houston, the sophomore second baseman, number four, Brandon Pruitt. Matt Rudis will get the start tonight from the mound for Sam Houston, a 5.84 ERA. He is 0-1 this season, appearing in six games. This is his first start, 12 and one-third innings. And we will get things started off here for Texas A&M. It is Bryce Blom, the second baseman. The first right-handed pitch on the way. This one low to the outside. The early count, one ball and no strikes on Bryce Blom. Again, thanks for staying with us here as we're excited to bring you this coverage right here on KSAM, our viewpoint 
is obstructed here tonight, so it may be a little bit getting things started. Get on the mound. Rudis, next pitch. This one popped up into the air under those 21 mile an hour wind gusts. This one dropping just shy of the Sam Houston logo. Colton Kowser with the first out. So a nice little one up, one down here at center field. It'll bring up second in the order, the center fielder, Ray Alejo. For those of you that are joining us in the booth, it's going to take us a little bit tonight. I'm working solo, so you'll see those balls and strikes may take a little bit longer uh, than normal to get things updated here. One away, Sam Houston here at the Don. Again on the mound for your Bearcats, Matt Rudis. One away, nobody on, one out. Rudis kicks up the left leg, right-handed pitch. This one across the plate for a strike. It's 0-1 on Ray Alejo. And my goodness, the wind. And I apologize, just to give you a setup, we, are, we were forced outside tonight, just not enough room for us. The ESPN Plus is here. Our friends, Andrew Monaco and company from Texas A&M. I'm actually sitting outside on the first base line. Kind of at a distance here. Next pitch away to even the count at 1-1. One one. Aces across the board. Matt Rudis played at Texas Christian, 0-1 in three appearances in that COVID-shortened 2020 season. For this first start here tonight, this pitch, as Alejo pulled back on it, wisely for a ball, the count of two balls and one strike, one away. Again, if you're out there listening, we'd love to hear from you. If you're in the booth, send us a message. Let us know where you're listening from tonight. We'll get to those as this game goes on. Here's the 2-1 from Rudis on the way. This one across the plate for a strike to even the count at 2-2. Two two. Beautiful pitch there by Rudis, a fastball at 90 miles an hour, heated across the plate. It's already one up, one down as Bryce Baum to lead things off. Popped one up over to center for the first out just moments ago. Here's Rudis, kicks up his left leg, the right-handed fastball, this one over to right. And that is a base hit as it rolls just in front of Blake Fature there at right. And it's a one-out single for Ray Alejo on a 2-2 pitch. He's over at first. Bring up third in the order, the first baseman, Will Frizzell. For Texas A&M, again, it's Will Frizzell, a left-handed batter here for the Aggies. It's a 6'3", 235-pound senior out of Rockwall, Texas. Played in all 147 games for the Aggies. 131 starts the first pitch across the plate for a strike. It's another fast ball at 90 miles an hour. Little pick attempt here as Rudis over to Vines at first. That base runner remains out there over at first base is Alejo with a one out single just a few moments ago. Here's Rudis, taking his time, another pick attempt, base runner safe. We'll see that quite a bit here tonight. No balls, one strike, one away here in the top of the first. Frizzell averages this season 355, 39 hits, 24 stakes cooked on the ribeyes. Here's the next pitch from Rudis. This one drops a little too low for a ball to even the count at one and one. Good friend Joshua Harris over at the Oak Ridge Disciple House joining us in the booth, listening in from Copper's Cove, Texas. Baylor fans, that's where RG3 is from. Of course, Baylor basketball went in the national championship last night. A lot of good going on here in the state of Texas. Here's the 1-1. This one across the plate on a change up at 80 miles an hour for a strike. One ball, two strikes, one away. Sabre Robert also joining us in the booth saying go Cats. Appreciate you, Sabre. Thanks for joining us. No score. Base runner on first for Texas A&M. Here's Alejo who had the single just a few moments ago. The count at one and two here on Will Frizzell, the first baseman. Talked earlier about him. 147 games here for A&M. 131 starts, making 132 here tonight. Here's the one-two pitch. This one hit hard foul off the third base line and just in front of the training facility over the fence. The count remains one and two and a little bit of a battle starts here for Will Frizzell in third in the order. As a senior, started all 26 games for the Aggies. Talked about earlier, hitting 344, 21 runs, eight doubles, eight home runs for this young man from 
Texas A&M. Here's Rudis on the one-two pitch. This time to the outside to even the count at two and two on an 82 mile an hour changeup. William Hibner joining us as well. Appreciate you saying go Cats. Root is taking his time. Pick a tip back over to first. That base runner remains safe. He's keeping a lay hole honest over there at first. For those of you on the radio waves here in the Huntsville area, listening on KSAM, you can text us. That Bearcat fan text line is open. Here's the next pitch. This one high. Runner going to try to steal over to second. Diving, sliding in plenty of time. And now in scoring position is Ray Alejo on the stolen base over to second. The count now full on Frizzell at three and two. One away. A little countdown action on the board. Root is trying to work out of this. A lot of history between these two teams. 134th time these teams have met together. Rudis with the delivery on a 3-2 this one. The wind's going to push it foul off the third baseline. I talked earlier about that wind just gusting. You could probably hear it on the crowd, Mike, as I am completely outside tonight. A few raindrops earlier. Luckily, those went away. Can't broadcast in the rain. And uh, luckily, all that kind of moved on. But there's a lot of wind out here. Gust over 21 miles an hour. Rudis looking in. Checks back over at second. Here's the 3-2 payoff. High to the outside. That's a walk and runners now at 1-2 and two for the Aggies. Frizzell over at first. Alejo with a one-out single earlier stole over to second, resting at second. That'll bring up fourth in the order, the designated hitter, Austin Boast. Austin Boast, the junior, standing at six foot 200 out of Groves, Texas. Product of PNG, a lot of history there at Port Natchez Groves High School. 31 games, now in his 32nd game for the Aggies. 316, 31 hits for this young man. First pitch, off speed to the outside on 78 miles an hour, the ball 1-0. Rudis on the mound, taking his time here. Kind of bounces his left foot a little bit. That right foot on the rubber. Here's the pitch. This one chopped foul just at the ankles of that third base coach. The count even at one ball and one strike. Talking a little bit more about Austin Bose, the junior that's at bat now for the Aggies. 23 games, 21 starts. 354, 15 runs, six doubles, four home runs for this young man. 17 ribeyes on the season. And the sophomore in that shortened season appeared in just eight games. Three starts then. Rudis checks back over at second. Kicks up his leg, now pulls down and pulls the pitch down. Count remains one and one. Runners on one and two for Texas A&M. No score as we're one away here in the top of the first. Boasts the... Right-handed batter, eagerly awaiting the delivery from Rudis. Of course, here at the Don, corners at 330. Those power alleys at 375. Here's a pitch. Runner taking off over to third. Diving, and that ball gets away on an air. He's going to come around and score. And another runner out, though, at third. But a run does come in and score on the air. Alejo will come around and score the first run for Texas A&M. And Frizzell is out. So that will clear the bases, but the Aggies pick up one here. Count remains one and one for Austin Boast. Here's the delivery on the way to Boast. Swing and a miss on a 90 mile an hour fastball across the plate to bring the count to one and two. Earlier, Frizzell stealing over to second, out at third. The shortstop through to third. Here's the next pitch on a 2-2. This one foul as it 
Sells near the berm next to us here off the first base side. The battle starting the count for Boasted two and two. This one hit foul as it goes just under the lights here off the first base side. The battle continues here for Austin Boast at two and two. In two outs we are, AM with a 1-0 early lead. Scoring moments ago on the air, Alejo was able to come around and score. Here's the 2-2. This one hit over to left near the 375. This one is going deep and this one is gone. It's a two-out home run for Austin Boast and the Aggies posting a 2-0 lead here as he will run around the bases. That one every bit of 375 and more just to the left of the scoreboard. <laughs> so for Austin Boast, his eighth home run of this season. Take us to fifth in the order of the left fielder, Ryan Targach. Left-handed batter here for AM with that left foot down in the bottom corner of the left batter's box. Here's the pitch on the way across the plate on a fastball, 0-1. Broderick Nixon joining us as well, cheering on. Appreciate you, Broderick. Here's the 0-1 pitch from Rudis. This one across the plate as he looked at it for the second strike, 0-2. Oh Rudis taking his time here, trying to work out of this 2-0. Lead for the Aggies, kicks up the left leg, right-handed pitch, got him looking for the third and final out. But not before the Aggies doing a little bit of damage here to start things in this first inning. Scoring two runs on two hits, one error, and nobody left on. Bottom of the first coming up, Bearcats batting when we come back on the Bearcat Sports Network. Eric Barbosa for Henson Ford. During truck month, we're rolling back prices on America's best-selling truck. Our low truck prices are now even lower on Fords like 2020 F-150 Super Crew, XLTs, and Expeditions. Save even more with 0% for 72 months and make no payments until the summer. Plus, get a warranty for life with no deductibles and unlimited miles at no cost to you. We even deliver for free from our store to your door. We get you rolling for less at Henson Ford. We're dealer for life. Henson Ford. HensonFord.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Pip here live from the Don in beautiful Huntsville, Texas. The lights are on, and there is a socially distant crowd here. Good to have baseball back. Of course, we've been playing for a while. Saw the Rangers of Pack Stadium the other night versus the Yankees. That was a good sight to see as a little bit of normalcy starting to kick back in here, especially in the Lone Star State. As we move to the bottom of the first, Texas A&M picking up two runs in the top of that inning to start things. Leading off for Sam Houston, Anthony McKenzie, the shortstop, Jack Rogers, second, and Colton Kowser, third. Nathan Detmer on the mound, as I mentioned earlier in pregame for Texas A&M. This young man, only a freshman, standing at six foot four, though, 205 pounds out of San Antonio, Texas, where he went to Johnson High School. He appeared on the mound in eight games in his first year at Texas A&M. Five starts, two and one record, as I mentioned earlier, 1.37 ERA. 27 strikeouts in 26 and a third innings. Back at Johnson High School, a three-year letter winner for Coach Gordon Gressel at Johnson High School. The senior season being cut short through 18 innings while allowing no hits or runs all season. So here's Anthony McKenzie for the Bearcats trying to get a leadoff single here. Sam Houston trailing 2-0 as we get things started here in the bottom of this first inning. He's a lefty, the right-handed pitch from Detmer, kicks up the left leg, here it is on the way, 87 mile an hour fastball, across the corner of the plate for a strike, 0-1 on Anthony McKenzie. McKenzie averaging 186 this season, 11 hits, six ribeyes, the short stop, the next pitch, too close to the inside for a ball, the count even at one and one.
Here's the next pitch from Detmer. It's on its way across the plate. No, to the outside, two and one. From our angle, again, just to give you a visualization, I'm on the first base side. Actually, there's even a little bit of fencing in front of us that I have to look through. Here's the two one pitch. Little inchworm at the belt line for a strike though as it went across the plate, two and two. A lot of times when you see that, you think that it was too close to the inside. Here's the 2-2 pitch. This one to the low corner inside to bring it to a full count at three and two. Anthony McKenzie, 2-11 leading off this season. Here's the payoff pitch from the right hand. Chops this one, takes a bounce. Over to second to Blami, throws it to first and a routine play to Frizzell for the first out. That happened on a 3-2 payoff. Bring up second in the order of the left fielder, Jack Rogers. Speaking of Rogers, talked about him earlier. Three home runs to close out that sweep of Central Arkansas up at Conway. Another left-handed batter here for your Bearcats. Rodgers this season, 333 on base at 440, slugging at 656. Here's the first pitch on the way. Got the corner, painted it for a strike, 0-1. Oh Again, bottom of the first we are. Aggies leading 2-0, Bearcats batting for the first time tonight. And Jack Rogers finds himself even at 1-1. One Okay, we can leave. <laughs> Here's the next one. This one popped up foul over to center. Tracking it down as Alejo at the wall. Leaps up with the left hand and makes the grab. Good play out there. Got to give him credit. Ray Alejo hopped up. And we're two away here in the bottom of the first. Bring up third in the order of the center fielder, Colton Kowser. Colton Kowser, the sophomore out of Cypress, Texas, Cy Ranch High School. Left-handed batter here. This is your 13th overall prospect for the 2021 Major League Draft at bat now for the Cats. Here's the pitch on the way. Clip the corner for a strike, 0-1. Oh Detmer kicks up, next pitch on the way. This one across the plate, 88 mile an hour heater. Brings the count to 0-2. He's trying to go three up and three down here. Bearcats looking for something in two out territory. Cows are 341, he's on base at 473. Here's the next one, hits this one foul way over the fans. Off that third base side, into the parking lot. The battle starts here for Colton Cowser. When we're at two outs, Cows are averaging 280. 88 at bats, 30 hits, 27 runs this season. Hits this one hard. Wynn gets up under it over to left. Targot's trying to get under it. Right at the wall. This one's gone. Oh, baby, the win carried it the last moment. And it's a two out home run for the Bearcats. How about that for Colton Cowser? It's two to one after Kowser with a two out home run over to left. And boy, that one looked for a moment like it was going to drop where Targotch had an opportunity, but the wind carried it. I've talked about this wind blowing it. 21 mile an hour gust and a big gust came and sailed it out of here. It's 2-1, Bearcats trailing, two outs, bottom of the first. Cleaning up Gavin Johnson, first pitch out of his reach, 1-0 count. Here's the next delivery. Johnson over to right. This one will drop as the wind got under it. Logan Britt with a routine grab out at right. But the Bearcats able to score one run on one hit. No errors and nobody left on. We're through one top of the second coming up. Stay with us. We'll be back in one minute right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. 
American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our 2021 GMC terrains and 2021 GMC Acadias. You can get up to $5,700 off in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons, and the one ton heavy duty GMC Sierra available with up to $5,500 in purchase allowance. So hurry to Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. GMC is professional grade. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here, top of the second coming up. Sam Houston putting up one lone mark in the bottom of that first on the home run. And we'll start here with a six, seven, and eight for the Aggies. Zane Schmidt, Logan Britt, and Mikey Honer to start things here again for Texas AM in the top of the second. Zane Schmidt, the 185-pound 5'11 junior out of Kearney, Nebraska. Transfer from Hutchinson Community College for the Texas AM. Young man appeared in 29 games for the Aggies. 16 starts, hitting 286, 12 runs, two doubles, two triples. Cooked 18 stakes, 19 walks. Some of those career stats include a 451 on base percentage, 381 slugging. So again, top of the second we are as Zane Schmidt, the left-handed batter, makes his way into the box. Matt Rudis on the mound here remains for Sam Houston. And Houston, the top of the second, third baseman, number 13, Zane Schmidt. Schmidt on base at 435, trying to get a lead off here for Texas A&M. A little bit of sun starting to grace back over the field now. There's been some clouds. Here's the first pitch on the way. Chops this one, foul off the first base side. Early count here on Schmidt, 0-1. Again, we are in the top of the second. Texas A&M putting up two runs back in the previous inning, leading this one 2-1. Currently 0-1 count on Shane Schmidt. No outs, nobody on as we're just underway here in the top of the second. A little bit of sunshine in Rudis' face now. A right-handed pitch on the way. 88-mile-an-hour fastball to the inside for a ball to even the count at one and one. Boy, it is getting really windy. I talked earlier about those gusts. I would suggest that it's even more than 21 miles an hour now. Rudis kicks up the left leg, right-handed delivery on the way. This one chopped foul off the first base side. The count at one and two. Of course, you can find out all the information, how to get tickets and more. Go to GoBearCats.com. Also find COVID information. Doing a good job here being socially distant. The count at one and two. Rudis with the delivery. This one on the way. Swing and a miss. Got him for the first out. It was an 83 mile an hour off speed to Zane Schmidt. He was hungry, swung on it, and missed four. A strike swinging two in a row now for Matt Rudis, going back to the first. We'll start the bottom of the order in that seven hole, the right fielder, Logan Britt. Back to a right handed batter here for Texas AM. Logan Britt averaging 283 on base at 340, slugging 511. 92 at-bats, 26 hits, 19 runs this season. First pitch to the outside, one ball, no strikes on Logan Britt. Britt with four home runs this season. Here's the 1-0 pitch on the way. This one, too close to the inside to bring it to two balls and no strikes. Again, one away we are here in the top of the second. and m leading by one, two to one. Rudis kicks up, here's the pitch. This one hard hit over to left. This one is sailing and it's out of here. Oh, mama, that one dropped and good hit there for Logan Britt now with his fifth home run of the season. It's a one out home run for Logan Britt. Second home run of this ball game for Texas A&M. Austin Bost did it on one out back in the first. 
And now here's Logan Britt trying to say, I can do it too. Catcher number 44, Mikey Hohner. Bring up eighth in the order, the catcher, Mikey Hohner, right-handed batter for Texas A&M. Aggies in their maroon jerseys, white pants, maroon stripes. Aggies written in cursive and white across the front. Of course, Bearcats in their home, black and white. Swing and a miss on the first pitch, 78 mile an hour off speed across the plate. The count at 0 and 1. Hayner averaging 242. He's on base at 415 this season. 15 hits, 15 runs, 13 RBIs. Next pitch high to the inside to even the count at 1 and 1. Aggie so far early, of course, only on their eighth batter, three of six, hitting 500 to start this game. Here's the next pitch. Too far to the outside corner, just out of his reach, two and one. Brutus still with that sunshine. It extends from the hump all the way down to the batter's eye and then through the power alleys. Here's the next pitch, drops in off speed, 78 mile an hour across the plate for a strike as that one dropped in, two and two. Again, just one out here for the Aggies, leading three to one, putting up two runs back in the first and one on that home run moments ago here in the second. This one takes a hop to the backstop, nobody on base. Goes to a full count here for Mikey Hayner. Mikey Hayner out of Houston, Texas, Cisco Junior College, 5'10", 200-pound graduate student. Here's the pitch on the way to Hayner. This one at his hips, and he'll reach on a walk. And so for the second time this early evening, Texas A&M will reach on a walk. Well, Frizzell did it earlier back in the first. And that'll take us to the bottom of the order, the shortstop, Kalai Harrison for Texas A&M. Back to a left-handed batter here for the Aggies. Ly Harrison out of Hawaii. Don't see a lot of players from Hawaii. Exciting to have him here in the States. Of course, Texas A&M, happy to have him. First pitch, though, to the inside. One ball, no strikes on Harrison. This young man is only a freshman, 5'11", 175-pound freshman. Pick attempt over at first. The runner just safe. I think the Bearcat fans were wanting that. Rudis threw it quickly over to Vines there at first, but that runner again is safe. One ball, no strikes. One out we are here in the top of the second. and m leading 3-1. Here's the next pitch. Drop too low for a ball, 2-0 count. Harrison has started in all 27 games now for the Aggies, batting 247. 14 runs, three doubles, two home runs for this young man. I know how high school in Hawaii, a three-year letter winner for his coach there. This one popped over to right, and that one will drop at right. Trying to go around for a double. He's there in time, and it's a stand-up double that will force Hayner over to third, and a stand-up double for Harrison. Take us back to the top of the order. Bryce Blom, who is 0 for 1. He popped one up over to center for the first out on a 1-0 pitch back in the first to lead off. But a quick discussion here. And again, Harrison over at second. And Hayner now over there at third. All this happening in just one out here for Texas A&M. Back to the top of the orders I mentioned earlier, Bryce Blom. Right-handed batter here for the Aggies. Rudis. Still with sunshine in his face. Right-handed pitch on the way. This one chopped over to short. McKenzie looking for the play over at first. And that is two outs. It's not able to get the double. A run does come in and score. As Hainer will come in and score. Blom is out on the choice for the second out. Center fielder number zero, Ray Alejo. Harrison remaining over at second. 
Second in the order, Ray Alejo, one for one so far today. Singled and stole over to second. Came around and scored that first run on an error by Johnson. Here's the first pitch on the way. This one dropped in for a strike on the off speed. Beautiful pitch. 0-1 count here on Ray Alejo. Rudis with the runner on second in scoring position. His team trailing 4-1. Next pitch on the way. This one high to the inside. Even the count at 1-1. One one. Linda Rojas joining us. Appreciate you, Linda. Thanks for joining us on the social media feed. In the booth. This game is on ESPN Plus tonight if you'd like to watch it. Good friend Matt Peterson and Jason Barfield on the TV call. Rudis checks over his right shoulder to second. Here's the 1 1 pitch. High to the inside. The count at 2 and 1. Yeah. Mentioned earlier for the Aggies, they didn't have to travel very far. About an hour down Highway 30, their shortest trip of the season. A lot of history between these two schools. Dating back to 1950, they have played almost every year since 1984. A little bit of time called here as Alejo will step out of that right box. And this is the 134th meeting between these two teams. Texas A&M leading the series 90 to 41, two ties. Again, dating all the way back to 1950. They only missed two times, 2007 and of course last year in that COVID shortened season. Maroon and White and the Bearcats here tonight. Back in 2019, the last meeting, the Aggies won on a run rule, 15 to five back in that contest on the road here at the Don. Currently at two and one, here's the pitch. The outside as Johnson did a good job getting behind that. And did not allow any opportunity for Harrison to advance. He still remains at second, the count at three and one on Ray Alejo. Abby Davis cheering on the Bearcats as well. Appreciate you, Abby. Thanks for joining us. And him leading four to one, one away for two outs. Beg your pardon. Here's the pitch. And this one too far to the outside. A little fastball, 84 miles an hour, but it was out of his reach. And Alejo will reach on a walk. That is the third time this evening and the second in this inning that Texas A&M has reached on a walk. Take us a third in the order, the first baseman, Will Frizzell. He was one of those, the first one to reach on a walk. And then was out a short through over to third, back in the first for the second out. 0 for 0, 355, 39 hits this season for the lefty, Will Frizzell. Rudis with his delivery. Out of his reach for a ball, 1-0 count. Again, one ball, no strikes. Root is taking his time. Has runners now on one and two. Checks over to second. Here's the right-handed pitch. 88 miles an hour to the outside for another ball, 2-0. Oh. Root is already at 47 pitches here. Just still in two innings. Here's the next one. And again, one out of the reach. Bring it to a 3-0 count here for Will Frizzell. Rudis with runners on at 227, 286 and two out territory, which is where we stand. Aggies leading 4-0 here. In the top of the second, they have put up two in each. Here's the next pitch. This one lined over to center. Kowser makes the grab, but runs will come in and score. And Texas A&M putting up more insurance here in for this second inning. As Harrison will come around and score. Designated hitter. 
Vallejo all the way around over to third. And Frizzell with a two out single over at first. So now runners in the corners for the Aggies. Again, Frizzell over at first, Alejo at third, Texas A&M leading five to one. Bring up Austin Bost, who had that home run back in the first. It was the second run of the afternoon for Texas A&M. Here's the pitch on the way to the right-handed batter, too close to the inside, one ball, no strikes on Austin Bost. A&M now five for nine this early afternoon. Well, late evening now, rather. 1-0 pitch on the way to the outside. Curve out of his reach to bring the count to 2-0. Oh. Where is his ERA now at 8.36 after that run just a few moments ago? Trying to get settled back in. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch on the way. This one hit hard foul off the... First base side into the corner. The count at two and one here on Austin Boast. So right in the middle of Southland action. Sam Houston taking a break here, facing the Aggies from the Big 12. This one swung on. See if Kowser can get under it. No, his. Second baseman, I believe it was Pruitt coming over to make that grab. And that will do it. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and two left on. As Texas A&M adding insurance here in the top of the second, leading five to one. We're through one and a half, bottom of the second coming up. Stay with us, friends. We'll be back in a minute right here on the Bearcat Sports Network. COVID-19 rapid testing is now available at Texpress Urgent Care in Huntsville. No symptoms are needed. Now you can get tested even faster and get your results back faster too. Not sure which test is right for you? Texpress Urgent Care is happy to help. For more details, call 936-570-2626. No appointments are needed, walk-ins only. Texpress Urgent Care Clinic, located at 193 I-45 South. Check their website at TexpressUrgentCare.com and visit them on Facebook. That's Texpress Urgent Care next to Sports Clips in Huntsville. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Weaker Hyundai to get a real deal? And during Hyundai Spring Upgrade Sales event, save even more. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL or a 2021 Tucson SE Your Choice, $19.88. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. Or a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL, only $24,888. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. Exit 87B, Wilson Road in Conroe or WeaserHyundai.com. Check out America's Best Warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and the Hyundai Assurance Program today. Welcome back, friends. A pleasant good evening live from Huntsville, Texas at the dawn. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your evening with us here. About 7, 10 p.m. in East Texas. Beautiful night for baseball. A little windy. But as long as there's no rain, it's always a fun night for baseball here in Huntsville. Start things here to lead off for Sam Houston. Five, six, and seven. The first baseman, Corbin Vines. Right-handed batter here. Second on the team. Three multiple RBI games this season. Two-run homer in that series finale versus UTSA back at the end of February. First pitch here, though, across for a strike. 0-1 oh, off the delivery from Nathan Detmer, who remains on the mound. Detmer only allowing one run in this game so far. It was a home run by Colton Kowser, batting third back in the first. Here's the next pitch quickly in rhythm. This one paints the corner for a strike, 0-2. Oh, Corbin Vine started each of the first six games of that shortened season a year ago. Here's the next pitch. This one on the ground, one ball, two strikes. This young man from Galveston College spent two seasons there. Started as a catcher and then moved to third base as a sophomore. Hit 320 and a homer, 36 RBIs in 2019. 49 hits, 11 doubles. Also stole 11 bases. Check down to first. And that one may have got just a little piece of the bat to keep the count at one and actually away from it on the outside for a ball two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch on the way. This one hit hard. Foul off the first base side. 
Behind the berm to our right, the count remains two and two. A little bit of a battle starting here now for Corbin Vines. Here's the 2-2 from Detmer. This one foul as it goes over my head and onto the road. Boy, Carl's got to watch out. Is that ball hit a car? Oh, man. There was a Cadillac driving by, and the caddy got a little baseball on the windshield off the bounce. That's why you got to have insurance. 2-2 the count. Here's the delivery on the way. This one chopped. Runner gets under it and throws to first to Frizzell for the first out. That one took just a little bit of a short bounce there in front of the third baseline, remained fair, and a good job by Hainer to throw over to Frizzell for the first out. Bring up six in the order of the designated hitter, Bryce Holmes, back to a left-handed batter for Sam Houston. Bryce Holmes averaging 306, 15 hits, four ribeyes this season. Stands with that left foot down in the corner. Here's the pitch on the way. Too high upstairs to the outside. 1 0 count on Bryce Holmes. Here's the next delivery. A little off speed at 79 miles an hour to even the count at 1 and 1 on the strike. Got the corner there on Holmes. Bryce Holmes out of Dallardsville, Texas, by way of Cisco College. Here's the next pitch. This one popped up over to second, grounded to second, rather, and Blom makes an easy throw to Frizzell for the second out. That is now three in a row going back to the first, retired by Detmer. Pretty routine play there. We'll bring up seventh in the order, the right fielder, Blake Fager. Blake Fature out of Cypress, Texas, by way of Blinn College, and from Louisiana. It's a 205-pound, six-foot junior here for Sam Houston. Bearcats trailing five to one here in the bottom of the second. First pitch on the way to the inside for a ball. Nice little fastball there at 90 miles an hour, just too close to the inside. 1-0 count here, Blake Fature. Here's the next pitch. Swing and a miss here to bring it to an even count at one and one. Fature hits this one over, pops up over to second, and an easy grab with the left hand there by Price Blom for the third and final out. No runs, hits, errors, nobody left on for the Cats. Trailing 5-1, to one. we're through two. Top of the third coming up. We'll be back in a minute right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. My name is Jane Monday, former mayor of Huntsville, and I'm asking you to join me voting yes for HISD bond issue on Saturday, May 1st. The time is now, so vote yes for our kids and our future. Remember, our kids, our voice, their future, our choice. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. This is Tim Rushing with Charlie's Used Cars. As most of you have seen or know, we are being affected by the I-45 freeway expansion. I assure you we are open and ready to serve you with your next vehicle purchase. We have driveway access off the I-45 feeder road as well as easy access off of Normal Park Drive. Charlie's Used Cars has been serving the area for 48 years and offers quality pre-owned vehicles and superior customer service. I encourage you to stop by and see us at 230 I-45 South here in Huntsville or visit us online at charliesusedcars.com. Come. If you needed major surgery, you probably wouldn't choose a doctor who's never been to medical school. So when your car needs major repairs after a collision, why would you take your car to a body shop that's never been trained? Amaya's Collision Center is among only 15% of collision repair businesses to meet the industry's highest training standards as a gold class shop. They know the latest repair techniques, how to find hidden damage, and how to repair your car's critical safety features so they work properly again. With the safety of your vehicle and your family at stake, choose trained repair professionals. Choose Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45. 
Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Don. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston Bearcat Baseball on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. As Sam Houston trailing here in this non-conference play, 5-1 to one versus the Aggies who made their way up, made their way down from Highway 30. About an hour trip here, their shortest trip of the season. Came by bus. New pitcher on the mound for your Bearcats. It's Tanner Simbera. So Matt Rudis, that'll be it for him starting in two innings, allowing five runs on five hits. All of those runs earned, struck out two, walked two. And we'll start here for Texas A&M at the five, six, and seven. Ryan Targach will start things here. Right-handed batter for the Aggies, standing center in the box. Simbera's first pitch on the way from the left hand. At 88 miles an hour, it's too close to the inside for a ball. 1-0 early count here. Again, Aggies leading 5-1. Simbera quickly in rhythm, right kick up, left. This one swung on, tip foul, 0 and 1. Beg your pardon, 1 and 1. Tanner Simbera. 12 and 2 thirds innings pitch this season, giving up five runs on 16 hits. This one chopped foul off the third baseline. The count now at 1 and 2 on Tanner Karjot. This Simbera talking a little bit more about him. Four of those five runs were earned. Walk six, struck out 11. It's allowed one double this season. Boy, things getting pretty windy, as they, they have been, but wind really starting to pick up here at the Don. We're outside off the first base line. Here's the 0-2 left-handed pitch. Swing and a miss for the first out. One away here is Simbera getting a strikeout. Starting here in this third inning, brings up six in the order. The third baseman, Zane Schmidt. Schmidt 0 for 1 today as he struck out swinging on a 1-2 back in the second for the first out. Here's Sambera's pitch on the way. This one, fastball across the corner for a strike. 0-1 on Zane Schmidt. And top of the third, 5-1, Aggies lead at bat. Here's the next delivery. A little shave pitch there, as I call it. That one right around the chin line. Kind of had to move his head backwards, leave a little whiskers on home plate. Count even at 1-1. One one. Here's Sambera's next pitch. Brought the heat across the plate for a strike. 1-2. Tanner Simbera out of Weimar, Texas, by way of Angelina College, a junior standing at 6'1", 170. Of course, the lefty, here's his next delivery. Corner, looked at it for a strike. It's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Tanner Simbera. And we are two away here in the top of the third. Start at the bottom of the order, seventh, the right fielder, Logan Britt, who's one for one, had that home run. Back in the second for the third run for Texas A&M. A third of their five runs so far this evening. The sun is completely setting now, still plenty of light. The lights are on here at the dawn. Here's the first pitch on the way. How about that? Pull out the paintbrush and paint a little corner, young man, 0-1. Oh Two outs we are, 0-1 oh current count here. Logan Britt, here's the next pitch. Swing and a miss to bring it to 0-2. Four solid appearances this season for Simbera out of the bullpen. 1.08 ERA and eight and one third innings. Struck out two and two and a two thirds innings. Next pitch here to the outside. One ball, two strikes. Back at Angelina College, this young man took part in the Texas New Mexico All Star game. Three and one, ten appearances in 2019. 45 and a thirds innings there. Here's the next pitch. That's a little foul tip to keep the battle alive here for Logan Britt. The count at one and two, two away. Nobody on. Aggies leading five to one here in the top of the third. Simbera's grandfather, Carol Simbera, is a major league relief pitcher, played three seasons for the Astros and two seasons for the Expos. This one swung around. Catcher going to make the throw over to first. And how about that? 
Three strikes swinging, three up, three down. No runs, hits airs, nobody left on. Simbera doing work here as he comes in to relieve Matt Rudis. No runs scored for the Aggies. In the top of the third, we're through two and a half. Bottom of the third coming up. We'll be right back in a minute here on the Bearcat Sports Network. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three-quarter tons, and the one-ton heavy-duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. My name is Jane Monday, former mayor of Huntsville, and I'm asking you to join me voting yes for HISD bond issue. If you are 65 or older, voting yes will not cost you any additional tax money. Remember, our kids, our boys, their future, our choice. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Don in beautiful Huntsville, Texas. It is Sam Houston baseball cats trailing the Aggies here in a little non-conference play in the middle of the season. Five to one, Texas A&M leading. The Bearcats back at bat here to start things in the bottom of the third. They only put up that one run. It was a home run by Colton Kowser back in the first. In the previous inning, a quick three up, three down. Nathan Detmer doing work. He's retired four in a row. And we'll start the eight, nine, and then back to the top at the one for Sam Houston. The third baseman, Mason Schultz. Out of League City, Texas, the freshman from Clear Springs High School. Had a pinch hit homer in his first career at bat versus UTSA back on February the 27th. Would love to get another one here. He's a lefty for the Cats. First pitch on the way from the right hand. This one foul tip into the backstop. The early count 0-1 on Mason Schultz. Back at Clear Springs High School, this young man, his first team all country, second team all state. A top 50 shortstop in the state of Texas during his high school plays. And this time the pitch got the corner for a strike 0-2. Again, no outs. Aggies leading 5-1. Bearcats at bat here in the bottom of the third. Next pitch on the ground. Bring the count to one ball and two strikes on no outs. That three-run homer, part of a seven-run inning in the Cats game at then number 19, Texas. Back on March the 9th, we had that call right here on KSAM. Next pitch outside for a ball, two balls, two strikes. Good eye there by Schultz, lefty. Trying to get a little lead off here for his team. They need it. Here's Devers' next delivery. Got him looking for the first out. Take us to ninth in the order, the second baseman, Brandon Pruitt. Brandon Pruitt, 10 at bats this season, two hits, three runs on those two hits. He's reached on a walk three times, struck out six. This young man averages 200 on base at 387, 385, back to a right-handed batter here for the Cats. Detmer, right-handed pitch on the way. Low to the outside, one ball, no strikes. Brandon Pruitt taking a little bit of time here. Out of Richmond, Texas, by transfer of Grayson College. Next pitch here, he pulled back on it wisely for the ball, 2-0. and oh. Redshirt sophomore made his Bearcat debut at Southeastern Louisiana back on March the 14th. Reached on base twice, a base hit and a walk. Here's the 2-0 pitch. This one too low to bring it to 3-0. And nobody on. Sam Houston trailing 5-1 to one here in the bottom of the third at the Don in Huntsville. Facing the Aggies. Brandon Pruitt. Pitch on the way to him. This time across the plate for a strike. Count here 3-1 and one in the bottom of the third. Here's the next pitch. 
Low to the outside, and Pruitt will reach on a walk for the fourth time this season. So it is a one-out walk for Brandon Pruitt. Takes us back to the top of the order, the shortstop, Anthony McKenzie. McKenzie grounded one over to second on a payoff pitch for the first out back in the first. Back to a left-handed batter here for the Cats. McKenzie on base at 315. Averaging 183, 11 hits, six RBIs this season. Would be nice to see him get his seventh. Get those steaks cooking, get the grill ready. Here's the first pitch, low to the inside for a ball, 1-0 count here on Anthony McKenzie. Detmer taking his time, glances back over it first across his left shoulder. Now stands tall, right foot on the rubber, the delivery, swing and a miss on an 87 mile an hour fastball to even the counted one and one on one out. Looks down, back up, looks down twice. Here's the delivery. This one chopped over to second, looking for the double play. Oh, that's an error, and the runner over to second will advance to third. And the Bearcats have runners on two and three. How about that for the Cats? So runners both in scoring position now with one out. For Sam Houston will take us to second in the order of the left fielder, Jack Rogers. So McKenzie are reaching on the fielder's choice and advanced over to second. Pruitt advanced to second on a throwing error and then advanced over to third. Doesn't matter how you get on as long as you get on. The throw air out there by Blom is just got out of his reach. So again, runners on two and three for the Cats. McKenzie at second. By the way, he's got six stolen, but can't really still hear those. He's got one in front of him over at third is Pruitt. bit of discussion going on here. Now back in action. Jack Rogers second in the order. As I mentioned earlier, three home runs in that final game versus Central Arkansas. And we're going to have another discussion here as owner's going to head over and talk to Detmer and actually all the infield is going to come in. We're going to have a little bit of a discussion here. Again, AM leading 5-1 to one in the bottom of this third. Sam Houston with one out doing a little bit of damage here. they got to complete that damage by getting runs in. They've got base runners at two and three. Take this time to thank some of our wonderful sponsors helping to make our coverage here on 101.7 KSAM, the Bearcat Sports Network, possible this season. Our good friends at Bill Fick Ford, no bull, just good deals. Wiesner Home, Wiesner Huntsville, the home of the bottom line. Our good friends at Henson Brand Dealerships, just up the road in Madisonville, Ford Chevy and Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Amaya's Collision Center, let's get you back on the road. Huntsville Family Dental, just smile. Texpress Surgeon Care, Quality Health Care, and Unmatched Customer Service. And thanks also to TJ Burdett and Sons Recycling, proudly serving East Texas since 1976, offering competitive prices for all your Ferris and non-Ferris medals. Again, big thank you. And we may have a change, a little bit of a discussion going on here. We may have a change on the mound. We'll go ahead and step aside for a minute. We'll be right back. Stay with us as Bearcat Baseball continues on the Bearcat Sports Network. Eric Barbosa with Henson Chevy Buick GMC. During Chevy Truck Month, we're rolling back prices on our hottest trucks and SUVs. Our low prices are now even lower on all new Chevys like 2020 Silverados and GMC Sierras. Save even more with 0% for 72 months and make no payments until the summer. Plus get a warranty for life with no deductibles and unlimited miles at no cost to you. We even deliver for free from our store to your door. We get you rolling for less at Henson Chevy. We're dealer for life. Henson Chevy online at HensonChevy.com. 
The inaugural Run With Your Imagination 5K Color Run benefiting Walker County's Dolly Parton Imagination Library is coming soon. The Imagination Library provides books free of charge to children from birth to age 5. Currently, 750 children in Walker County take part in this program. This color run will happen on May 1st, 2021 at the Teacher Education Center at SHSU. The cost is $25 a runner and that fee will provide one child with one book for a month for a year. Visit online at Run With Your Imagination. Imagination.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Don in a beautiful Huntsville, Texas. Thanks for spending your evening with us as Sam Houston hosting the Aggies of Texas A&M just down the road off Highway 30, making the hour-long trip here, their shortest of the season. Got a pitching change out there for Texas A&M. That'll do it for Nathan Detmer. As runners remain on two and three, he'll be responsible for those. And coming in now, Chandler Joswag. So Joswag on the mound, getting his warm-up pitches. Detmer finished two and one-thirds. As it stands, one hit, one run, one of those, that one run earned, of course, on the home run, struck out one. 41 total pitches is all for Detmer. And again, Joswag getting the warm-up here now on the mound for the Aggies. Joswak one and two this season. Started three of those 30 and one thirds innings pitched. He's allowed 12 runs on 26 hits. 11 of those runs have been earned. Walked six, struck out 52. Has allowed two doubles and two home runs this season. Again, Chandler Joswak for the Aggies. We'll get back into action here. Jack Rogers, one away. Swing and a miss on an 88 mile an hour fastball. That was right in the middle of Rogers earlier. So the count now at one and one. That pitching change came right in the middle of the at bat. You don't see that too often. Joswak looking in. Again, runners on two and three for the Bearcats. Here's a left handed pitch, another fast ball, and another swing and a miss. It's one and two, Jack Rogers. Joe's Wack from Brenham, Texas, not too far away. The senior, 6'0", 195. Next pitch, low to the outside. One ball, two strikes. Two, two balls, two strikes, even the count. 11 games, he's came out of the bullpen for the Aggies. A 1-2 record, two saves, 2.96 ERA, 43 strikeouts, 24 to third innings. He's increased those numbers. Here's his next delivery. This one hit foul, a late swing off the third base side and way out of here, hit the top of the training facility. The count remains two and two. A little bit of a battle here for Jack Rogers. Again, Rogers 0 for 1 today, averaging 330, 30 hits, 22 ribeyes cooked for Jack Rogers. He'd love to get two more a hit here, would surely score two for the Bearcats. Trailing 5 to 1 here in the bottom of the third. Deep breath by Joe's Wack. Here's the pitch, here's the swing, here's the foul. Good at bat here for Jack Rogers, staying alive. Popped one up over to center for the second out on a 1-1 pitch back in the first. This young man on the mound was a four-year letter winner at Brenham High School. 5A All-State second team as a senior back in 2017. Time, boy, really goes fast. Time here is Jack Rogers stepped out of that left box, taking his time, now gracing his way back inside. Both feet pretty close to the line. 2-2 two -two here for Joswag. He'll kick up his right leg, left-handed delivery. This one hit hard. Oh, it's going deep. This one, oh, mama, it's out of here. It's a three-run homer for Jack Rogers. Well over 375 with a little bit of wind pushing to the side. How about that, Bearcat fans? Jack Rogers with his eighth home run of the season brings it to within one. The Aggies leading five to four.
Next up, third in the order, the center fielder Colton Kowser, who had a home run earlier in this ball game. The first run before those three just a few moments ago on Jack Rogers' three-run homer. First pitch, clips the corner for a strike, 0-1. Here's the next pitch out of his reach to even the count at one and one. Again, all this just one out here for Sam Houston in the bottom of this third. Here's the next pitch on the way. The left-handed batter this time looked at it as it came across the plate for a strike one and two. Delivery low corner to even the count of two balls and two strikes. Boy, so Jack Rogers just picking up right where he left off after three home runs versus Central Arkansas in the previous game to close out that and one here. This time, pitch on the way, and Kowser looked at it for the second out. Cleaning up fourth in the order, the catcher Gavin Johnson for Sam Houston. He popped one up over to right for the third out back in the first. Sam Houston trailing by one. Your tying run at the plate now. Two away. Pitch on the way. Swung around and missed 0-1. I don't think he really wanted to bite that one. He's already halfway through his swing. Couldn't pull back. A little 79 mile an hour off speed pitch there by Joe Zwag. Here's the next pitch across the plate as he looked at it for a strike 0 and 2. Next one inside for a ball, one ball, two strikes. And appreciate Joshua Harris over the Oak Ridge Disciple House joining us from Coppers Cove, Texas. Here's a one-two pitch. Swung around and missed here for the third and final out. But for Sam Houston, in that inning, three runs on one home run hit, one error, and nobody left on. Bearcats pick up three, trailing by one, five to four. As we move to the top of the fourth, we'll be back in one minute. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Only 15% of collision repair shops achieve ICAR Gold Class status, the highest training level recognized in the industry. Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45 is proud to be one of them. They know the latest repair techniques, how to find hidden damage, and how to repair your car's critical safety features so they work properly again. They invest in training because they would never cut corners with your family's safety at stake, and neither should you. Get your vehicle repaired at Amaya's Collision Center, 686 I-45, where your safety is their top priority. What is the Good Shepherd Mission doing in Huntsville with the donations and money you so generously give? The Good Shepherd Mission is helping over 600 local families with groceries and feeding over 2,000 hot meals each month. The Good Shepherd Mission is sleeping folks to the max almost every night. When you donate or contribute to the Good Shepherd Mission, your money really does stay in Huntsville to help local residents. This nonprofit notice is brought to you by First National Bank of Huntsville, Huntsville's only locally owned community bank. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live as we go to the top of the fourth inning from the Don in Huntsville, Texas. A lot of friends joining us in the booth. Sam Houston trailing by one, picking up three runs in the third. They had the home run back in the first, in the first and then that three-run homer by Jack Rogers in that third to pull this game to within a reasonable one-run lead for Texas A&M. The Aggies will start things here in the top of the fourth on the 8-9-1. and one. So the catcher, Mikey Honer, to start things here to lead off in the top of this fourth inning. A right-handed batter. Some Barris pitch on the way. This one hit fouls. It sells over us and bounces on the road. We saw a car get a little bounce on a window earlier that time. It was avoiding traffic. Some of the fans walking back there. Go down and get a little foul ball there in the street behind us. Count 0-1. 
Next pitch on the way. Fastball at 88 miles an hour. Clipped the corner, painted it for a strike, 0-2. Jeff Eichmann joining us saying, eat them up, Cats. Appreciate you, Jeff. Thanks for joining us in the booth. We're in the outside booth tonight. Here's the 0-2 left-handed pitch. Oh, that one goes foul. The wind carried it just at the last moment. It went foul, lined over there. Just outside of the dirt off the third baseline. The battle starting here. The count remains 0-2 for Mikey Honer. Reached on a walk, came around and scored back in the second. Part of that home run from Logan now Britt back in that inning. Averaging 242 this season today, 0 for 0. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This one, too close to the inside. Good eye there by Mikey Honer. The count at one and two. Again, no outs here for the Aggies, leading five to four in the top of the fourth. Hear the wind there on our crowd microphones. Here's the 1-2 pitch. This one chop foul as it bounces over the third base coach and into the wall in foul territory. The count remains 1-2. and two. A little battle here for Mikey Hayner. Appreciate Reagan Grimes joining us. Julie Engelman, appreciate you, Miss Engelman. Good to see you. Ronnie Snow, Miss Deanne Thompson. Saw your husband and your son here a little bit earlier at the dawn. Here's a 1-2 pitch. This one hit hard as it will go over to right. Fature, though, able to get under it well in front of the wall. And it's one away here for Simbera and the Bearcats, trailing 5-4 to four here in the top of the fourth. Take us to the bottom of the order, the shortstop, Kalai Harrison. Harrison one for one today as he doubled back in the second, eventually came around and scored. Left-handed batter here for Texas A&M. Again, one for one today. Here's the pitch on the way. That's a fast, well, a little bit of an off-speed. Looked fast and then went to an off-speed at 78 across the plate for a strike 0-1. Barrow taking his time. Now the right leg up, left-handed pitch. This one hard hit, foul off the first base or third baseline. This one will bounce just over the fans and well behind the Bearcats' dugout. The count at 0-2. Yeah, One out we are, 0-2 count here in the top of the fourth. Sambera came in to relieve Matt Rudis, who only pitched two innings. Allowing five hits, five runs, all of them were earned. He struck out two. Here's Sambera's delivery on the 0-2. Too high upstairs. Climbing the ladder for a ball, 1-2. Appreciate you, Logan Treadway. And congratulations to Baylor. He knows I'm a big Baylor fan. Here's the one-two pitch. This one chopped over to Pruitt at second. The throw to first, and we are two away. A little grounder over there is chopped over to Pruitt. Take us back to the top of the order, the second baseman, Bryce Blom. Bryce Baum here, 0 for 2, reached on a fielder's choice and was out on the short over to first for the second out back in the second. Here's the pitch on the way to Blom. This one too close to the inside for a ball, 1-0 early count. Like what I'm seeing out of Simbera is coming in. Taking care of business here. Here's the left-handed pitch. Showed bunt, pulled back across the plate for a strike one and one. Sambera in his delivery. Here's the pitch. Here's the ball. It was too close to the inside. 89 mile an hour fastball. That's his 24th pitch. By Simbera, this one, the inside, two and one. Quickly back at it, right leg up, left hand. This one hit over to right. We'll see actually making the grab was Pruitt as he ran over from second, fading out to right. 
And it's a three up, three down for Sam Houston. Sambera taking care of business here for the Bearcats. Of course, no runs, hits, errors. Nobody left on. We are through three and a half. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Bearcats trail by only a one, five to four. We'll be back in a moment right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. This is B.J. McMichael, a minister at a local church here in town. As a community leader, I believe it is my responsibility to leverage whatever influence, position, and voice I have. For the most vulnerable in our community, the most vulnerable in our community are our children. Join me to vote yes today to upgrade their tomorrow. Vote yes for HISD champion. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champion. March Madness is here, and so is the March Madness sales event right here at Wiesner in Huntsville. Come take advantage of these great deals and get $3,450 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Encore GX and a 2021 all-new redesigned Buick Envision or $4,700 in purchase allowance on the 2021 Buick Encore. You get up to $5,950 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Enclave. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner in Huntsville or online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Don in beautiful Huntsville, Texas, as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Thanks for spending your evening with us here on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Network as Sam Houston trailing 5-4, to four, but back at bat after the three-run homer in the previous inning by Jack Rogers. Making four home runs over his last two games now. We'll start things here for Sam Houston at the 5, 6, and 7. The first baseman, Corbin Vines, who's 0 for 1 tonight. Looking for a leadoff here for the Cats. The first pitch, a fastball, swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Good pitch there by Joswack. Came in to relieve Nathan Detmer, who only went 2 and a third. In early count here, 0 and 1, starting things in the bottom of the fourth. Joswack's next left handed pitch to the right handed batter to the outside. One ball and one strike. Again, want to remind you, friends, if you're out there in the booth, send us a message. Let us know on social media through our Facebook feeds, YouTube feeds. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where you're listening from and who you're cheering on. Here's a 1-1, swing and a miss. 1-2 on an 89-mile-an-hour fastball. Also, if you're listening on the radio, the Bearcat fan text line is open. We always love to hear from you there. Please don't text and drive. Data rates may apply. You can text us at 512-522-9105. Again, that number, 512 512- 5-2-2-9-1-0-5. Those wax. 1-2 pitch. Low to the inside. Even the count at 2-2. Two two. 91 miles an hour on that pitch. The 17th pitch here by Joe's Wag. Only pitched in two-thirds of an inning. Here's his next delivery. This one foul tip into the backstop. The count remains 2-2. Two and two. Little battle starting here for Corbin Vines. Aggies have had 14 consecutive winning seasons. They have posted a winning record 58 of their last 60 years. And here's a swing and a miss for the first out on Corbin Vines. A lot of winning tradition at Texas A&M. Designated hitter number nine. Ranked second in the nation entering this contest with five shutouts. They're not going to get it here, of course. Bearcats already have four runs on the board, trailing five to four here in the bottom of the fourth. Made up of a very healthy pitching core, though, for the Aggies. Take us to six in the order. Bryce Holmes, who's 0 for 1. That one hits him in the back. And Holmes, the tattoo shop is open. Yes, he will reach over to first on the hit by pitch. So a little one out tattoo shop. Bring up seventh in the order as we start the bottom, the right fielder, Blake Facher. He's 0 for 1 as he popped up one over to second for the third out back in the second inning. Facher on base at 303 this season, trying to bring his runner into scoring position. Fans here. Joe's Wack kind of picked it up, put it back down. There wasn't a balk. 
Runner on first for Sam Houston. Is Holmes. Here's the pitch on the way. This one hit foul. And it will drop. Whoa, boy, just right into where I believe. Well, it was right next to the concession stands. It was one little area. That's a hole in one shot. It bounced right in to where some of the storage is and then popped right out of it. Count here, 0 and 1 on Fager. Shows wax delivery. 90 miles an hour across the plate as he looked at it for the strike, 0 and 2. Lisa Juarez joining us. Thank you, Lisa, for joining us in the booth. This game on ESPN Plus, as I mentioned earlier as well. Here's the 0-2 pitch on the way. This one, line foul. Oh, man. A lot of velocity behind that. A little 78 mile an hour off speed. Almost dinged the light pole off the third base sign. Count remains 0-2. Battle here for Fager. Fager looking for his 16th hit. Won't get it here, though, as he looked at it for the second out. And it's now five strikeouts for Joswag. Bring up eighth in the order for the Bearcats, the third baseman, Mason Schultz. Schultz 0 for 1 on a 2-2 as he looked at it for the first out back in the third. Averages 216, 11 hits, trying to get his 12th. Pick attempt, throw back over to first. Joswak just trying to keep him honest, threw it over to Frizzell. Sam Houston trailing here five to four in the bottom of this fourth inning. Holmes reached on the hit by pitch earlier over at first. Two away we are, here's the pitch. This one too low. Runner's going to have to stay. Good job getting behind that was Honer. Mikey Honer the catcher. That one would have got away from him on a wild pitch. That could have been a run over to second in scoring position. Instead, it's a 1 0 count here on Mason Schultz. Base runner remains at first for Sam Houston. Joe's wax delivery. A fastball out of the reach for a ball 2 0. Here's the 2-0 delivery. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Have our good friends from Colorado Springs joining us on the Bearcat fan text line. Cheering on Corbin Vines and the Bearcats. Appreciate our friends there again in Colorado Springs. If you got a text message, text us 512-522-9105. Here's the 2-1. This one over to left. Chasing it down is Cardock, and it remains fair. Oh, baby, right at the left corner at the 330. That's going to bring in a run and score. And over to third is Mason Schultz. How about that for the Bearcats? And we are tied up at five runs apiece here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh, mama, what a play. Mason Schultz with the RBI triple. Five to five, and the Cats coming alive here in the bottom of the fourth. Bring up ninth in the order, Brandon Pruitt. Reached on a walk, came around to third on an air and eventually scored back in the third. Part of that three-run homer by Jack Rogers. First pitch out of his reach, 1-0. Here's the next one. This one lined right over and grabbed for the third and final out. So one run on one hit, no errors, and one left on for Sam Houston. That will do it as the Bearcats manage to tie things up in the bottom of the fourth. We'll make our way to the top of the fifth when we come back in a minute right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. 
The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. My name's Michelle Spencer, CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Walker County, and I vote yes for the Huntsville ISD bond election. This bond is so important for our children, our kids, our boys, their future, our choice. Vote yes for the Huntsville ISD champions. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! You need to get to WC Auto Center. Since 1997, the pros at WC Auto Center speak perfect car language and they'll quickly find and fix what's wrong. Cutting edge diagnostics, expert, experienced technicians, unparalleled service. You can trust WC Auto Center to get to the root of the problem and get you back on speaking terms with your car. Fast! WC Auto Center. They'll turn oh no, oh no, oh no into... All right, all right, all right. All right, friends, back at it. A pleasant good evening. Approaching 8 o'clock here in East Texas. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston Baseball on the Bearcats Sports Network. As the Bearcats tie things up in the bottom of the fourth, 5-5, five to five, hosting Texas A&M. As we go to the top of the fifth, the Aggies back at bat. And it'll be the 2-3-4 and four spot. The center fielder, Ray Alejo, on base twice so far tonight, but he's... One for one, reached on a walk, was left stranded at third. Did score the first run for the Aggies, and the first pitch is a first hit over to right. So a leadoff single for Ray Alejo. He is now on base all three times that he's been at bat here so far at the dawn. Take as a third in the order of the first baseman, Will Frazell. Frazell also on base both times tonight. Did reach on a single, but was left stranded back in the second. Reached on a walk and then was out on a short to third pass back in the first. It's again, runner on first after the leadoff single. One pitch to Alejo. Simbera on the mound, kicks up, left-handed delivery. This one swung, hit foul. Pops way up into the air. And will take a drop on top of the training facility roof. Rolls on down and drops. A little Plinko action going around the walkway over there. The count 0-1 on Will Frozell. Sambera checks over at first, keeping his eyes over there, taking his time. Kicks up the right leg, left-handed delivery. Low to the outside to even the count at 1-1. 88 miles an hour on that pitch by Sambera. He is now 29 pitches into this. One ball, one strike, no outs. The Aggies have one on first. And we are tied at five apiece here in the top of the fifth. Sambera again taking his time, shrugs his shoulders, kicks up, here's the pitch. This one takes a hop over to second. This one thrown and the runner is out just in the nick of time. Alejo reaches over to second. And Frizzell is out on the grounder to second for the first out. Again though, Alejo now in scoring position. That is your tie-breaking run. Your insurance run at home plate right now. Fourth in the order, the designated hitter, Austin Boast. Had the home run back in the first. Then popped one up over to second for the third out. Back in the second inning. Sambera taking his time. And now we'll step off the mound and have a little chat here with Gavin Johnson, his catcher. Johnson will make his way to the bump. Just want to talk about things a little bit here. Again, the Aggies have that runner over at second is Alejo, who had the leadoff single. And then advanced to over to second moments ago. Now we'll get back into things here. The right-handed batter, Austin Boast. One for two today, averages 320, 32 hits this season. Here's the pitch, foul tip. The count at 0-1 on Austin Boast. So 
Barrett taking plenty of time here. He has his left arm kind of hanging low. Left foot on the rubber, right foot in front of him to the side. Checks down once, looks over to second. Looks back down, back to second. Here's the pitch. Out of the outside to even the count at one and one. One ball, one strike, one out. We're tied at five apiece here in the top of the fifth. Live from the Don. Your Bearcats hosting the Aggies. Some bear again. Looks over to second. Going to keep an eye over there. Here's his delivery. This pitch. I'm going to check down over to first. And it is a ball, two and one. It's the home plate umpire wanted to look down, see if he possibly swung through. Across the plate, that's not the call. Two balls, one strike, one away. It's Michael Durantes at home plate. Your umpire, Ron Teague over at first. Clint Fagan at third tonight. Started this game around 79 degrees. Here's the next delivery. Runner will take off to third. The throw is over to third, and it's not in time. Alejo over to third on a 3-1 here to Austin Boast. It's a good effort there by Johnson trying to throw it quickly to Scholes at third. Just could not get there. Kind of took a bounce out of the glove, but luckily Scholes was able to get back on it. It is a stolen base over to third. 3-1 count here, Adam Boast. Or Austin Boast, rather. Simbera. Here's his delivery. Swing and a miss. Brings it to a full count at three and two. One out here in the top of this fifth inning. We are tied. Aggies have that runner over at third is Alejo. Boast on the payoff pitch. This one chopped foul, bounces in front of the Bearcats dugout. The count remains full at three and two. Taking his time, looks down. Here's the 3 2. This one, oh. Took a bounce. Oh, and he's out. It took a bounce on the ground, came up and hit him on the shoulder. And he's trying to get an explanation there from the home plate umpire. I don't think coach is going to come over and talk to him as well. As it stands, two outs here. Say struck out looking. And they're still going to talk about this as Coach Childress down there having a long, lengthy discussion with the home plate umpire Michael Morantes. And Coach Childress will just kind of walk off, say, okay. You know, we talk about Coach Sirianni and Coach Childress, longtime friends. They were having a discussion in batting practice before this. Always good to see the camaraderie. So two away here for Sam Houston. On the defensive side, trying to hold the Aggies and keep this thing tied up at five apiece. Bring up fifth in the order, Ryan Targach. Here's the pitch. Off speed at 78, drops across the plate for a strike, 0 oh, and 1. Bear trying to work through this as still has Alejo over at third, reached on the single to lead things off in this inning, advanced to second, and then stole to third earlier. Sambera, the 0 oh, 1 pitch. This one to the outside for a ball to even the count at 1 and 1. Ray Hernandez, president of the Huntsville-Walker County Chamber of Commerce, joining us in the booth. He's also here at the game. 
sitting behind home plate. Appreciate you, Ray, and all you do. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, one and two. 85 miles an hour across the plate for Sombrero. Got him to bite, and it's one and two. Sombrero trying to work out of this here. AM scored two in the first, three in the second. The previous two innings, no runs on the board. Trying to make it three in a row with Sombrero. Here it is. And a swing and a miss. Got him for the third out. And Sombrero coming alive here for your Bearcats. It's three innings in a row with zeros on the board for the Aggies as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Stay with us. We are tied at five apiece here at the Don in Huntsville. We'll be right back in a moment here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Eric Barbosa for Henson CDGR, and we're rolling back prices on America's best-selling vehicles. During Ram Truck Month and the Jeep Celebration event, our road truck and SUV prices are now even lower. Save more with 0% for 84 months and make no payments until the summer. Plus, get a warranty for life with no deductibles and unlimited miles at no cost to you. We even deliver for free from our store to your door. We get you rolling for less at Henson CDJR. Your dealer for life. CDJR.com. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. Hello, I'm Kim Thomas, pastor of Warren Chapel United Methodist Church, and I do support the HISD bond issue. It is our kids, our voice, their future, our choice. Vote yes to HISD champions. Vote for their tomorrow. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Don. Got a pitching change out there for Texas A&M. It'll be their third pitcher of the night. Talking about uh, Jonathan Childress. Two and three this season. Childress 32 and a third innings pitched here for Texas A&M. 30 hits, 16 runs. 15 of those runs were earned. He has walked 12, struck out 45, and allowed, uh, looks like, uh, three to reach over to second. And uh, Josh Criswell in the house. What's up, Josh? Oh, not too much. Got an exciting one. You know, Bearcats fell behind 5-1 to one early on, but four straight runs, and we've got a, got a good one all of a sudden in the bottom of the fifth. Yeah, it's just really impressive. Sombrero came in, and as I mentioned earlier, putting O's on the board here on the defensive side. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. And leading off here for Sam Houston to start things, we'll go back to the top with Anthony McKenzie. McKenzie so far 0 for 2 today. Did reach on a fielder's choice, came around and scored those. Part of the home run by Rogers back in the third. First pitch away from him for the ball, 1-0. Of course, Josh, you're going to be on the call with me Saturday. I'm excited, man. You're going to be on the call with me there for McNeese football. 1-0 pitch on the way. It's a little off speed. Well, actually, a fastball is too low, 89 mile an hour. So excited about that, man. You get to Brian won't be able to join us, so I'm happy to have you, man. Yeah, I think it's going to be an exciting one. You know, the uh, the McNeese Cowboys are a team that's kind of flown under the radar a little bit. Had a uh, rocky start to the season, but bounced back with two big wins. Next pitch way into the air, and this one catchable in foul territory by Will Frazell for one out. So a little pop up way into the air there off the first base side. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you came over. I was getting, you know, you get a little lonely calling baseball by yourself. Oh, no, absolutely. I know it, I know how it can be sometimes. You know, the thing that's uh, really impressed me these past few innings is Tanner Sambera. We talked about him a little bit, but, man, five, down 5-1 five, comes in, and he's just shut the door since then. Five Ks and in three innings. Doesn't get much better than that. Well, here's Jack Rogers. Four home runs now in the previous two games, three of them at UCA in that final game. One here tonight, a three-run homer. First pitch paints the corner for a strike 0-1. Oh, it's another young man has just been phenomenal here as of late for Sam Houston. Absolutely. I mean, he, he's just been that his whole career. That that first inning hit where he popped out to center, if that would have been anywhere else in the ballpark, that's his fifth home run in the past two games. Next one clipped the corner for a strike, 0-2, one away. Here's the pitch. This one chopped over out of the reach to left, and that is a single for Jack Rogers. So a little one-out single for Jack Rogers. 
You know, obviously Colton Kowser, a predicted first-round draft pick, gets a lot of the attention whenever it comes to the Sam Houston lineup. But Jack Rogers is another guy that I would expect to be going in the top five or so rounds of this MLB draft coming up later this year. Brings up Colton Kowser. Josh just talking about him. Also had a home run back in the first for Sam Houston to put up that first run. He is one for two, struck out looking for the second out on a 2-2 pitch back in the third. This one too low, one ball, no strikes on Colton Kowser. Josh, you'll discover it's kind of an octopus up here. <laughs> you know. it's, it's definitely a, a unique situation. <laughs> it's a full house definitely whenever Texas A&M's in town. There's just arms moving around everywhere. And then up here in the broadcast booth, you know, arms moving around, <laughs> keeping up with everything. A lot of fun here. Here's a 1-0 left-handed pitch. This one, it's another base hit over the left power alley. Run will come around over to the third. And in plenty of time, runners on the corners and the Bearcats continuing their domination. In scoring position, we are tied at five apiece. How about that for Colton Kowser? Couldn't ask for a much better start to this inning for the Bearcats. Your two big guys, Jack Rogers and Colton Kowser, getting it done with back-to-back -back singles. Now you got runners on the corners for one of your senior leaders in Gavin Johnson. Mentioned earlier, of course, Jonathan Childress coming in here to relieve Chandler Joswag. And that will bring up the catcher, Gavin Johnson. Johnson 0 for 2. I always say when you're 0 for 2, you're due. Popped one over to right for the third out back in the first. Struck out looking for the third back in the third. Both of his outs coming on three. This one, little pop fouls. It plops right in front of the Aggie dugout off the first baseline. Early count here, 0 and 1 on Gavin Johnson. Again, runners remain on 1 and 3, bottom of the fifth. We are tied one away. Sam Houston trying to break that tie. Left-handed batter Johnson. Ooh, little pick attempt over at first, just trying to keep him out there as Childress threw over to Frizzell at first. Josh, pretty windy night tonight, too. I was talking about that when we went on, and people can every once in a while hear that on our crowd mic. Yeah, I mean, you saw it. The winds definitely picked up these past couple innings, but it was really bad the first few, and you saw that. I think he had three home runs for the two teams combined in the, that first inning and a half. Good eye by Cal or by Johnson on that one. It was close to the inside. It's a little aces on the board at 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Jonathan Childress, the lefty, sophomore, 6'4", 205 out of 40, Texas. So he'll throw back over to first. It's always one of my favorite atmospheres of the baseball season whenever Texas A&M comes to Don Sanders Stadium just a little about an hour down the road and always a good history between these two teams. I think the Bearcats looking for their first win over the Aggies since 2017. A little throw to first. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier, how these teams have met each other every year since 1984. They've only missed two of those, of course, last year because of COVID. The history that goes back to 1950. Of course, the Aggies have the upper hand, 90-plus wins versus the Cats, but anything's possible here at the Don. Here's the 1-1. This one swung on late. It'll drop over to right. That will score. Our, a run comes in, and baby, get the charcoal on the grills. The steaks are cooking. It's another ribeye and another run scored, and the Bearcats have the lead for the first time tonight, 6-5 to five here in the bottom of the fifth. You know, it seemed like the Texas A&M right fielder might have lost that one, whether it was in the lights or I'm not sure if he got a good read on it because he kind of held up for a second, and that allowed that ball to drop in to get the run across for the Bearcats. A little RBI single for Gavin Johnson as Jack Rogers will come in and score. Again, the Bearcats with a one-run advantage. We'll have a discussion on the mound here. So Childress coming in to relieve Joe's whack, and he struggled here. Sam Houston's bats are getting hot here at the Don. Saw a little bit of action in the bullpen. Don't see anybody stepping out, so this was, well. Yep, there is someone coming in. So we're going to have a new pitcher. We're going to go ahead and step aside for one minute. When we come back, we'll talk about that. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. 
Eric Barbosa for Henson Ford. During truck month, we're rolling back prices on America's best-selling truck. Our low truck prices are now even lower on Fords like 2020 F-150 Super Crew, XLT, and Expeditions. Save even more with 0% for 72 months and make no payments until the summer. Plus, get a warranty for life with no deductibles and unlimited miles at no cost to you. We even deliver for free from our store to your door. We get you all in for less at Henson Ford. We're dealer for life. Henson Ford. HensonFord.com. American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Josh Criswell for Huntsville. Oh, here in Huntsville at the Don for Sam Houston. <laughs> Sam Houston Bearcat Baseball. Josh, every time I get around you, I start thinking of high school too, man, because you do, you're doing such a good job wherever you're at, man. So appreciate you being here again. Six to five, Sam Houston with the one-run advantage as we are here in the bottom of the fifth. New pitcher on the mound now for the Aggies as they'll bring in Trevor Werner, the 226-3 Sophomore out of Houston, Texas from Klein High School. A lot of baseball coming out of Klein. A sophomore appeared on the diamond eight games for the Maroon and White, including four appearances on the mound, batting 154, four of 26, two runs, four BR, RBI. But let's talk a little bit of his pitching. 1-0 record, 6.23 ERA, four strikeouts in four and a third inning. Recorded two hits, one RBI walk, and a win over New Mexico State back on March the 6th. So getting those warm-up pitches again on the the mound for the Aggies, the sophomore, Werner. We'll see what he can do here. 1-0 this season. He's only pitched in four and a third innings. Allowed three runs on six hits. Corbin Vines. Pitch on the way to Vines. Corner strike, 0-1 on 93 miles an hour. That may be the fastest one that I've seen here tonight. Again, runners remain on first and third for the Cats, leading 6-5. Just one out here for Sam Houston. The 0-1 pitch on the way. This one low, even the count at 1-1. One one. I was mentioning earlier, Josh, just how fortunate we are. You know, you fast forward a year and just what this everyone has been through with COVID and now seeing the baseball park start to get filled up again, it's just a beautiful sight. Absolutely. I mean, this is, you know, one of the things that I've been looking forward to because – you know, this sport, obviously, you know, you had the heartbreak during the basketball championships getting canceled. But, I mean, this was really, you know, baseball and softball was at, at the bulk as far as Sam Houston sports that had their seasons really, really cut short. Last pitch hit foul as it went over the back of Corbin Vines. The counted one and two, one away. Runners remain on the corners for Sam Houston. Werner taking his time here. Kicks up the left leg, right-handed delivery, swing and a miss for the second out. Good pitch there, got to give him credit. Werner, the nice delivery there on a 93-mile-an-hour fastball against the plate. Bring up sixth in the order, the designated hitter, Bryce Holmes. Holmes 0 for today, but he did get on base after he was hit by a pitch back in the fourth. Came around and scored from the RBI triple from Mason Schultz. You know, Bryce Holmes always a reliable bat for the Bearcats, still looking for that first home run of the 2021 season. Uh, no better time than the present for that. Two outs, Holmes, the pitch on the way to the lefty. This one outside of his reach, one ball, no strikes on two outs. Yeah, I'll take the reverse broadcaster's jinx on that, you know, for Sam Houston, I like it. <laughs> still looking for his first one. Now if we both say it, it'll, it's going to happen. A little bit of time called here as Werner will step off the hump, back onto it. Again, Johnson over at first, Kowser at third. Bearcats leading 6-5. to five. They picked up one run here. They have scored in all three of the previous innings. Here's the pitch on the way. Pulled back on that one. Good eye to bring a ball to an O. Thought about going around, pulled back off of it. Oh. 
Holmes is 202 out territory here this season for Sam Houston with runners on 385. Here's the pitch. This time across the plate as he looked at it for the strike, two and one. Boy, and the, the speed just continues behind Warner. That time, 94 miles an hour. Already mentioned earlier, 93 was the fastest that I've looked up and seen, and now 94, that'll eclipse it by one more. Here's Warner again with the delivery. This one swung on and missed, even the count at two and two. You know, Sam Houston, the story of this comeback for them has been taking care of business when runners are on base. You know, as we see right here, four and eight with runners on base, including two of four with runners in scoring position, looking for one more to make that three to five right here. Had their struggles early, but really starting to find rhythm here are the Cats. Leading 6-5, 2 2 2 away. Runners on the corners. Here's the pitch on the way. Got him looking for the third out. Tough break there for Sam Houston. But they do manage to pick up that game tie break run with one run in that inning. That one run coming on three hits. There were no errors and two left on base. We are through five. Top of the six coming up. Stay with us. The Aggies back at bat here in one minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our 2021 GMC terrain and 2021 GMC Acadias. You can get up to $5,700 off in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons, and the one ton heavy duty GMC Sierra available with up to $5,500 in purchase allowance. So hurry to Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. GMC is professional grade. Only 15% of collision repair shops achieve ICAR Gold Class status, the highest training level recognized in the industry. Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45 is proud to be one of them. They know the latest repair techniques, how to find hidden damage, and how to repair your car's critical safety features so they work properly again. They invest in training because they would never cut corners with your family's safety at stake, and neither should you. Get your vehicle repaired at Amaya's Collision Center, 686 I-45, where your safety is their top priority. COVID-19 rapid testing is now available at Techspress Urgent Care in Huntsville. No symptoms are needed. Now you can get tested even faster and get your results back faster too. Not sure which test is right for you? Techspress Urgent Care is happy to help. For more details, call 936-570-2626. No appointments are needed, walk-ins only. Techspress Urgent Care Clinic, located at 193 I-45 South. Check their website at techpressurgentcare.com and visit them on Facebook. That's Techpress Urgent Care next to Sports Clips in Huntsville. Back at it, friends. Rob Hip alongside Josh Criswell, 823 here in East Texas. Sam Houston leading the Aggies in Huntsville at the Don, 6-5. to five. Thanks for joining us. So we got a new pitcher on the mound now for Sam Houston as Cole Wesneski will come in to relieve Tanner Simbera. Simbera having a nice outing there, third pitcher of the night again. Cole Wesneski, who last saw action just a few days ago at Central Arkansas, going 1-0. And now on the mound here again for Sam Houston. Nice opportunity here for Wesneski, the junior out of Cypress, Texas. 6'2", 215-pound right-handed pitcher. As we'll lead things off here, the 6'7 and 8, Zane Schmidt, the third baseman for the Aggies. First pitch dropped in too low for a ball 1-0 count here on Wesneski. Yeah, we mentioned it a little bit ago, but talk about an outing for Tanner Simbera. Came in the game with the Bearcats down 5-1, to one, and he did exactly what he needed to do. Just gave up one hit, no runs, striking out five batters over three innings to really give the Bearcats a chance to get back in this. Then all of a sudden, five straight runs later, Sam Houston has its first lead of the ball game. Makes you think here if it was conference play, we'd probably continue to see him out here. But doing what he had to do, as you just mentioned, Speaking of conference play, you want to see Cole Wesneski take this one as long as he can. Want to keep that bullpen rested up with another big four-game series coming up in just a couple days. It's kind of a nice little change of pace after you go these four-game series this year and then you play a non-conference opponent. You're on a Tuesday night at the dawn. A lot of folks making their way out here. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Too close to the inside, three balls, no strikes, no outs here in the top of the six. Sam Houston leading six to five. Zane Schmidt 0 for two as he struck out 
both times in his at bat. The first time was looking back in the second for the first out and then or swinging and then the second out looking back in the third. Next pitch this time paints the corner for a strike three and one. Trying to build a little bit of confidence here for Wesneski. Talk about building confidence. How about the Bearcats play over these past two weeks or so after a little bit of a rocky start to start Southland play eight wins in their past nine games. Next pitch too low on a 3-1 and a leadoff walk for Zane Schmidt. Yeah, going six games in a row, trying to make it seven here tonight. It's a very tough Big 12 opponent, non-conference play. Aggies, as I've alluded to many times on this broadcast, their shortest road trip of the season. Just get on 30 and head on down on the bus. They'll go back tonight as well. A little day trip for them. Well, it might not count towards their conference record, but talk about a win that could definitely boost this Bearcat team's confidence. Logan Britt, right-handed batter, seventh in the order here for the Aggies. This one paints the corner for a strike, 0-1. A lot of time here. Wesneski taking his time. That runner remains on first for Texas A&M. Here's the pitch to the outside to even the count at one and one. Blake Facher for Sam Houston. Going to be due up here, but they got to get through this first. Still no outs here for the Aggies. Trailing by one, six to five. Little pick attempt, throw over to first. That runner safe. Vines out there over at first. Schmidt at first base. Bred at bat here. AM's cooled off. The first couple of innings they were batting 500. They've now slipped down to 6 of 20. Another attempt over at first. Yeah, I guess you were down here taking photos tonight too, right, Josh? Oh, yeah, running all over the place. <laughs> He's an Iron Man over here, <laughs> the sports editor from the Huntsville Item. I think our good friend from. K-Ags. K-Ags. Talking about Mike. Mike, I think he's here. Swing and a miss here on this pitch. Yeah, you know, he. Uh, Mike was telling me that I think he was about 0 for uh, 50 on his last at last at bats trying to catch that Colton Cowser home run. I'm glad he was <laughs> able to finally get that one in the first inning. One and two on Logan Britt. Something just special. You know, a lot of great folks in media around this area enjoyed getting to know Mike a lot and the fine work that he does. You know, they feature a lot. That's what's really exciting. They make their way over here an hour to really take care of this community and this college, and that's very much appreciated. There's the rare four ball on the board up there right now. <laughs> it's, the count remains a two and two. You know, Cole Wesneski, a guy who was really reliable for the Bearcats in 2019 and uh, 2020, had a little bit of a rocky start so far this year. But, you know, you've seen it in the past. All it takes is one or two strong performances, and he can really turn things around, become one of those reliable bullpen arms for the Bearcats. Still really trying to settle in here tonight, though. He's allowed one on. That was Schmidt reaching on a walk earlier. A 2-2 count currently here on Britt. And now to the outside, brings it to a full count at three and two. A three, two. Runners on one, here's the pitch. This one swung foul. Battle starting here now for Britt and the Aggies. Still no outs here. In the top of the sixth. I'd like to see Wesneski work his way out of trouble here, but if not, it looks like the Bearcats already have a right-hander up throwing in the bullpen. Wesneski taking his time. Here's the delivery. This one over to short, looking for the double play. Yes, there it is. Two away. How about that for the Bearcats? Talk about a potential game-changing play for the Bearcats. You saw this Texas A&M offense start to get a little bit of momentum going for the first time really since the second inning. And just like that, the defense steps up. Anthony McKenzie with an amazing play at shortstop just continues to make plays for this Sam Houston defense. Had two on. How about two or an opportunity for two on? Instead turns into two outs here for Sam Houston. 
As we go eighth in the order, Mikey Honer. First pitch out of his reach, 1-0. Yeah, we talked about Wesneski, you know, trying to really find some rhythm, and those are the type of plays that will help you find that. You get a little bit of support from your defense out there. Here's the 1-0 pitch. This one, too close to the inside, 84 mile an hour, maybe 89 actually. It's too close though, brings it to 2-0. Wesneski continues to take his time. Here's a right-handed pitch. This one popped up, should be catchable. The first baseman vines with the left hand and that'll do it. How about that for Sam Houston? The double play with two quick outs, and then the pop-up over to first for the third and final out. Bearcats leading by one, looking for some insurance as we go to the bottom of the six. We'll be back in one minute. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Weaker Hyundai to get a real deal? And during Hyundai Spring Upgrade sales event, save even more. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL or a 2021 Tucson SE Your Choice, 1988. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payments for 90 days. Or a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL, only 24888. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payments for 90 days. Exit 87B, Wilson Road in Conroe or WeaserHyundai.com. Check out America's Best Warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and the Hyundai Assurance Program today. The inaugural Run With Your Imagination 5K Color Run benefiting Walker County's Dolly Parton Imagination Library is coming soon. The Imagination Library provides books free of charge to children from birth to age five. Currently, 750 children in Walker County take part in this program. This color run will happen on May 1st, 2021 at the Teacher Education Center at SHSU. The cost is $25 a runner and that fee will provide one child with one book for a month for a year. Visit online at Run With Your Imagination Imagination.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Josh Criswell. Sam Houston Baseball of the Bearcat Sports Network. As we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, Sam Houston leading six to five, hosting the Aggies from College Station, making the journey down 30. Appreciate you joining us here as Sam Houston trying to work some magic and continue things here in the bottom of this inning. It all started really with the fine. A pitch work earlier for Sam Houston of Sambera, as you mentioned earlier. And then Wes Neske, a nice little play there, his defense helping him out. And we'll get back in action here as we'll go to the bottom of the order, the 7, 8, and 9, starting with the right fielder, Blake Facher, who is 0 for 2 so far tonight. 246 this season, 15 hits. Here's the first pitch across the plate for a strike as he looked back on his swing, 0 and 1 early count. Here's the next pitch as he swung around on it for another strike, 0-2. Oh well, that wind just continues to blow through here, Josh. <laughs> I'm doing my best to kind of block it out with a little bit of a tunnel over. Uh, <laughs> well, that one's coming right at us. Here's one that's going to pop down, and it'll take a row, a couple of rows behind us or in front of us. A foul ball. The count remains 0-2 oh here, Blake Facher. You know, a little bit disappointed in the hands on the fans on that one. It seemed like it was going <laughs> right to him and just boom, right into the bleachers. Bottom of the six we are. Sam Houston leading six to five at bat. Blake Facher here, no outs, 0-2 count. Here's Werner's pitch on the way, swing and a miss for the first out. Eighth in the order, the third baseman, Mason Schulz. Makes his way into that right box or the left-handed batter's box here for Sam Houston. Mason Schultz, one for two, had that RBI triple back in the fourth. There was the tying run. Here's the right-handed pitch to the left-handed batter. Boy, hard swing there as he swung around on a strike 0-1. 91 miles an hour, he wanted every bit of that. So 
someone was commenting earlier asking why I was wearing a sports coat. I said, well, it's the only jacket I have, and it was warm outside, but now <laughs> that that sunset, it's starting to get a little chilly. Not too bad. Yeah, you know, I, I was regretting the long sleeves and jeans for a little bit, but now the sun goes down, it's yeah. going pretty nice. <laughs> Next pitch, a strike across the plate, 90 miles an hour on the fastball. The count at 0-2, one out here in the bottom of the six. Sam Houston leads 6-5. to five. Mason Soltz looking for some insurance. Pitch on the way. High to the outside, one ball, two strikes. It's crazy to think that in just a few months, we'll be talking about a whole new football season as well. Things are just really going to start bleeding together. Here's the one-two from the right hand. High to the outside to even the count at two balls and two strikes on one out. Yeah, I'm excited for that fall season, but you know, even more important, I'm, I'm excited about this spring season and with one or two more wins, the spring playoffs that very well could be making their way to Huntsville. Here's the two-two. This one hard hit foul off the third base line, just in front of the Bearcats bullpen. The count remains two and two. Little battle starting here for Mason Schultz. Yeah, Mason Schultz has been making really good contact with the ball, especially these last two at bats. That was another solid one, just about you know about maybe 10, 15 feet, but a couple seconds sooner, and that one's right down the middle. Here's the 2-2. This one over to second. The flip dip. Oh, he's out. I, I no, he's safe. I was gonna say I don't oh, know about that safe. one. He was called safe. How about that? Able to beat it out. Mason Schultz is flipped over to first. And a 2-2 pitch results in a one-out single for the Bearcats. You love to see it. Falls behind 2-0-2 early in the count. Battles it back to 2-2, and then all of a sudden squeaks out an infield hit. Huge day so far for Mason Schultz, and he's been a, as integral part of anyone as anyone. You know, obviously Jack Rogers with that three-run home run, but a big second half of the day for Mason Schultz here as well. Go to the bottom of the order, the right-handed batter, Brandon Pruitt, the pitch on the way. This one across the plate as he looked for it, thought about swinging, pulled back, 0-1, one away. Yeah, Josh, I should have went off the reaction of the crowd. My, Again, where I'm standing here, I'm having to stand every once in a while. My stat laptop is blocking the first base umpire, so I kind of had to look around. Here's the 0-1. Runner will take off over to second. This is a base hit. Runner will advance over to third. And the Bearcats have runners on the corners at one and three with a 6-5 advantage. One away here in the bottom of the six. Great hit by Pruitt, but again, the base running of Mason Schultz threatened to steal second. That pulled the shortstop over, and all of a sudden that gets through the infield when if he doesn't take off for second base, that very easily could have been a double play ball right there to end the inning. Take us back to the top of the order, the shortstop, Anthony McKenzie. McKenzie 0 for 3, reached on the fielder's choice back in the third, came around and scored. Again, you can look at the 0 for 3, but... It's, how do you get on? He's been huge on the defensive side. Obviously, we saw that double play he had to get them out of the jam just a couple minutes ago. We'll see if he can get it done on the offensive end right here. Being a good opportunity for a second home run of the season for this young man. It's a left-handed batter. Bearcats leading 6-5. to five. Pick attempt over at first. That ball got away from the first baseman. Runner's going to take off and score. And the Bearcats have a two-run advantage, 7-5 to five here in the bottom of the sixth. And I know I keep coming back to it, but Mason Schultz, heads up base running right there, saw that slip away, and he bolted for home. All of a sudden, the Bearcats, six runs in a row, leading the Aggies 7-5 to five here in the bottom of the sixth. How about that for your Bearcats? Mason Schultz making it happen, and then Sam Houston taking advantage of an error and a little bit of insurance starting to build here. Sam Houston has scored in every single inning of this ball game except the second. They had one in the first, none in the second, three in the third, and then a single tally mark across the board here through the sixth. Six runs in the past four innings, and with only one out here and a, and a runner in scoring position, you got to imagine they got a chance to tack on at least one or two more. Still only one out. Anthony McKenzie at bat. And look who's coming up in the next two batters, Jack Rogers and Colton Kowser, just who you want coming up with runners on scoring position. It's a failed pickoff attempt that allowed that to happen. A little inchworm pitch to the inside. One ball, no strikes on Anthony McKenzie. One.
One oh, one away. Here's the delivery. Ball speed low at 89 miles an hour. More like a fastball. The count at two and oh. Again, Sam Houston leading seven to five. That runner in scoring position over at second for the Cats is Pruitt. Werner, the right-handed delivery, too low. Bring it to a 3-0 count. And the Aggies struggling here. Sam Houston, 8 of 25, 320. 5 of 10 with runners on. Let's try to make that 6 of 11. Here's the next pitch. Corner strike, 3 and 1. The wind is starting to really, really pick up, man. You know, Trevor Werner got off to a really hot start for A&M tonight, had those three early strikeouts. But ever since then, he's been struggling. You know, two hits, that run just given up, obviously, on that uh, failed pickoff attempt. So we'll see what McKenzie can do here with the runner on second base. Keeps an eye at second. Here's the 3-1 pitch low, and that's a walk. Runners on one and two for the Cats. Pruitt remains at second. McKenzie reaches on the walk. And the Bearcats holding on to a two-run advantage, trying to add more, and I believe we're going to see a pitching change, Josh. Well, that's going to be a rough start for whoever they throw in there. Jack Rogers, Colton Kowser, Gavin Johnson coming up to bat next. I would not envy whoever it is that they're sending to the mound next. So that will do it for Texas A&M's pitcher, Trevor Werner. They have went through four already. Werner only 26 pitches into it, and he is taken away. And the Aggies will send another one up to the hump. We'll step aside and take a break for one minute. We'll be back in a moment. We'll have that for you. Bearcats leading 7-5 to five here in the bottom of the six on the Bearcats Sports Network. American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable, and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our 2021 GMC terrains and 2021 GMC Acadias. You can get up to $5,700 off in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons, and the one ton heavy duty GMC Sierra available with up to $5,500 in purchase allowance. So hurry to Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. GMC is professional grade. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip alongside Josh Criswell, 843 here in East Texas. Bearcats leading the Aggies here at Huntsville at the Don, 7-5. New pitcher on the mound now for the Aggies. It is the fifth of the night. Joseph Minifee, the 6'2", 225-pound junior out of Richmond, Texas, a product of George Ranch High School. This is a young man that appeared on the mound for the Aggies in 42 games. One start, 5-3 record with a save, 3.6 ERA, 78 strikeouts in 50 innings. A lot of experience here. And as we update those stats, a 2.25 ERA, 2-1 two and one this season. 12 innings pitch, allowing three runs on six hits. All three of those runs were earned. He walked seven, struck out 25, allowed one to double. We'll see what he can do here. And Josh, as you mentioned earlier, Tough top of the order here for Sam Houston in the two, three, and four with Rogers, Kowser, and then possibly Johnson. I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself, you know, at least the two and three. Well, you imagine if you're Texas A&M, this is who you want to send to the mound. You know, you got a couple of really dangerous lefties coming up, so you send that left-handed arm up there. And, I mean, it's one of your more reliable guys. This is a former freshman All-SEC guy back last time they played a full season back in 2019 and 2.25 ERA, so he knows how to keep the runs down. Exactly what you want, but as you mentioned, you know, whenever you got Colton Kowser and Jack Rogers, Gavin Johnson coming up to the plate, it's not a fun time for any pitcher. Rogers steps into the box at the left side. And again, Menifee on the mound here, Jack Rogers. 
who has already scored two runs tonight, two of the seven that are on the board. Left-handed batter. And if he will check over to second, the left-handed pitch on the way. Swung hard here, 80 miles an hour off speed. 0-1, early count here on Jack Rogers. Now he's been in two-strike territory a lot tonight. In fact, both of his runs, that home run in the third, coming on a 2-2. 0-1, one away. Cats leading 7-5. Trying to add more of it here in the bottom of the sixth. Runners on one and two. And if he taken his time, glances over at second. Two times. Kicks up the right leg. Left-handed pitch. This one, a fastball 92 miles an hour at the feet for a ball one and one. Goodness, a lot of speed behind that. <laughs> Don't get in front of that. A lot of speed means a lot of uh, power that can come out the other way of that too, though, especially with a guy like Jack Rogers. As we saw, whenever he connects solid, he's sending that over the fence and then some. Took a hard swing on one earlier when it was only 80. Here's a 1-1. Then if he kicks up, here's the delivery. This one chopped over to first right into the glove. And a runner is in time over at first, but that will get the runner out at second. But runners now on the corners for the Bearcats. As you notice right there, the speed of Jack Rogers keeps him about a step or two ahead of the thrower there. So still keeps runners at the corners with your biggest bat, Colton Kowser, coming up to the plate with two outs. Rogers will reach on the fielder's choice. McKenzie is out, and Brandon Pruitt over at third in two-out territory. Bring us to third in the order, the center fielder, Colton Kowser. Kowser had the home run back in the first. He is two for three tonight. Struck out looking in the second on a 2-2. Two -two. Or in the third for the second out. And oh, he was hit here. A little bit of a glance back at the pitcher's mound. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. Bases are loaded for the first time tonight for either team. And the Bearcats will be the first beneficiary of that tonight. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it as the wind is about to take us. And actually, Kowser was intentionally walked. I was looking down on that, so Kowser intentionally walked over there. Just looking for a quick ground play here, of course, at home plate. Here's the pitch on the way. This one, able to get behind it was Honer. Gavin Johnson, well, he did get out there, Josh. You know, Gavin Johnson only hitting two, hitting 299 on the year, already impressive, but he's even more impressive hitting 444 with runners in scoring position, including 500 with the bases loaded. Here's the 1-0 to Johnson, this time painted the corner for a strike, one ball and one strike. Well, still looking for his first home run of the season. How about a grand slam if he can get it out of here? That'd be nice. Here's the 1-1 pitch on the way, swing and a miss on a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. <laughs> Taking his time here is Minifee. Here's the pitch. High to the outside. Evens the count at two and two. Great eye by Gavin Johnson there to lay off, even though with two strikes, keeps a good eye on that one, lets it pass, and all of a sudden you got a two-two count. Again, we are here in the bottom of the six. Sam Houston leading seven to five, bases loaded. Menifee's next pitch, slow. Bring it to a full count here, three and two. And we'll see if the intentional walk backfires on him. And that's what good plate discipline does for you. You know, Gavin Johnson falls behind early in the count, but all of a sudden you're one pitch away from walking in another run. It's a 3-2 full count with bases loaded. Here's the pitch on its way. Low and a walk and another run forced in. It's 8-5. Bearcats here in the bottom of the sixth. Pruitt is forced in. 
Rogers over to third, Cows are to second, and Johnson walks over to first. Yeah, you got to give some love to Anthony McKenzie drawing that walk to really keep this rally going for the Bearcats. I guess you I don't know if you're going to call it a rally, but you know that that starts it off, and all of a sudden you've got the bases loaded, and Corbin Vines coming up, a very capable hitter to really break this one open even more. Corbin Vines 0 for three. This ball gets away from the catcher, but he's able to get back under it. Runners will head back to their bags at second and third. Corbin Vines 0 for 3. When I say you're 0 for 2, you're due. When I say you're 0 for 3, well, it's time to be. <laughs> Let's go here. 237 this season, 14 hits. 15th hit here would be nice. Three home runs, by the way, this season for Corbin Vines. one current count here to Vines. Delivery on the way. Pulled back across the plate for a strike, one and one. I think the fans here wanted that one. They wanted a, a ball. Next pitch too low. Looked at it for the ball. Two and one, Corbin Vines. Again, our bases loaded here. Two outs for the Cats, leading eight to five. And put up two more runs. Here's the pitch. This one swung on, foul into the back of the net. Runner's going to advance on. Pitches here, two and two. And they'll advance one more ball. It's only two and two, two away. Bases remain loaded here for Sam Houston. Leading eight to five in the bottom of the sixth. Minifee on the mound for the Aggies, the fifth pitcher tonight. Only pitched nine times. Here's his 10th. This one fouled. Nice at bat here for Corbin Vine staying alive. A little 81 mile an hour off speed. Keeps the count at two and two on two outs. Well, Josh, you talked about earlier Sam Houston, of course, on a six game winning streak. Really starting to find some stride here. Things early on in the season were a little bit rough for Sam Houston, but they finally got over that 500 mark. Trying to keep that streak going here against a very tough AM team. Here's the 2 2. This one chopped over to third. The throw to first. It's in time, and that will do it. But not before the Bearcats find two more runs. They get those two runs on two hits, one error, and two left on. We are through six, top of the seventh coming up. Stay with us. The Aggies back at bat trailing eight to five when we come back in a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. COVID-19 rapid testing is now available at Techspress Urgent Care in Huntsville. No symptoms are needed. Now you can get tested even faster and get your results back faster too. Not sure which test is right for you? Techspress Urgent Care is happy to help. For more details, call 936-570-2626. No appointments are needed, walk-ins only. Techspress Urgent Care Clinic, located at 193 I-45 South. Check their website at techpressurgentcare.com and visit them on Facebook. That's Techpress Urgent Care next to Sports Clips in Huntsville. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Weaker Hyundai to get a real deal? And during Hyundai Spring Upgrade Sales Event, save even more. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL or a 2021 Tucson SE Your Choice, 1988. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payments for 90 days. Or a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL, only 24888. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payments for 90 days. Exit 87B, Wilson Road in Conroe or WeaserHyundai.com. Check out America's Best Warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and the Hyundai Assurance Program today. All right, friends, back at it. Thanks for joining us here in Huntsville, Texas, from the dawn, 8-5 to five as we go to the top of the seventh inning. Wesneski remains on the mound for Sam Houston, getting his warm-up pitches in here. Just had a little brief chat a few moments ago with our good friend Mike Lucas from KAGS Television. Good to see him here. And it's a little bit of a double dip for them with the Aggies and the Bearcats playing. Yeah, you get a little two for one. <laughs> Easy does it. There you go. 
Start things here for the Aggies. In the bottom of the order, we'll go 9-1-2 and two to start things here in the top of the seventh. It is Glell Harrison. Kalai Harrison starting here, leading off with Wesneski on the mound. Here's the first pitch on the way to the outside. One ball, no strikes. I want to remind you that our Bearcat fan text line is open. We'd love to hear from you tonight. Feel free to text us if you're listening on the FM airwaves at 512-522-9105. Again, that number, 512-522-9105. Here's the next pitch. This one popped up foul. The wind will push it where it's not catchable as it drops just in front of the training facility and the trees. One thing about this position, Josh, where I'm out outside, I don't ever complain. I love, you know, just the opportunity to be here is tremendous in itself. Uh, so whenever they said, hey, I got to be out here, I said, I didn't mind. I kind of like this in a way because I can actually see the bullpen from Sam Houston. When you're in the booth, you can't because there's a tree in front of it. Exactly. The one <laughs> perk of uh, being out in the elements, huh? As long as it's not raining, man, it's I don't mind it. I also yeah. have some fans walk in front of you, talk to you. It's kind of fun. <laughs> We know Wesneski got a had a, gave up an early runner, but ever since then he's really locked it down for the Bearcats over this past inning plus, I guess you say. Already got two strikes on him here. Yeah, last pitch, painting the corner, pull out the paintbrush here. 0-2, oh no outs, nobody on for Texas A&M, trailing 8-5 here in the top of the seventh. Wesneski, here's his pitch on the way to low. And <laughs> Harrison... Wait a minute, they're going to have a little discussion here. Harrison thought that may have hit him. He started to take off to first. And the home plate umpire, they're going to meet over here just shy of the bump and talk about things. I, that one hit the ground and then came up and hit him. Man. Very brief discussion, and they're not going to allow him to go. No, it looks like they're going to call that one a ball and keep it moving. As it should be. We saw it there. It hit the dirt, wound, bounced up, and hit him. Sometimes it happens so fast, though, as a batter, you don't know. <laughs> no, not at all. The count here even at 2-2. Two and two. You saw an interesting one earlier where the Aggies ended up actually catching a strikeout by a guy leaning into a pitch. Wesneski. Here's his 2-2 two -two from the right hand. Swung around and missed. Got him for the first out. Oh, Josh, you mentioned it earlier. Wesneski really starting to find his groove now. And he has retired two in a row. It all started with that defense helping him on the double play, and it's really helped him to settle in. Yeah, I can't remember if it was 2019 or 2020. These past couple seasons kind of blur together for me, but you saw something similar, I, I believe, with Cole Wesneski, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of had a slow start, which you saw this season, you know, gave up nine earned runs through his first five innings on the season. But tonight, he's been lights out, and the reason why I bring that up is because he had another similar outing, you know, whether it was a year or two ago, where he had kind of one of these strong performances, might have even been during a midweek game, but that really got him rolling and turned him one of the most reliable pitchers on the team the rest of the year. Blom lines this one over to center for the second out. It's a quick two up, two down for Wesneski and the Bearcats. I'm got under that one, but just lined it out there. Cowser with an easy grab there at center. That's the second time tonight that Blom has hit it over there, and only the second time that we've seen it go to center by the Aggies here in this ball game. And another out for Wesneski. And speaking of Wesneski, obviously, you know, the younger brother of former Bearcat great Hayden Wesneski, currently in the New York Yankees organization. Six-round pick a couple of years ago back in 2018. So I'm really excited to see him now that he gets finally a chance to play a full a full season in that Yankees organization. Second in the order, Ray Alejo. Ray Alejo, two for two today. Wesneski taking a little bit of time. Now that right foot on the rubber, the left foot just to the side. Nobody on, two away. Bearcats leading eight to five. The Aggies trying to respond here in two out territory. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. It was an 81 mile an hour off speed. Got him to bite. He was hungry. 0 and 1 early count here on Ray Alejo. Young man averaging 363, 33 hits, 12 RBIs. Here's the next pitch to him. This time curves to the outside for a ball to even the count at one and one. Our good friend from Texas A&M Radio who stepped in after the great Dave South retired. Mr. Andrew Monaco here tonight. Appreciate Andrew. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. This one a bounce. Luckily nobody on. That could have been runners advancing two and one. 
Well, I know that we're on a uh, Sam Houston, Texas A&M broadcast, but I know you're out, you know, a Central Texas guy. I'm sure you were excited about that basketball result last oh, night. Oh, buddy, huh? I've already talked about that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Good friend John Morris, the voice of the Bears. I'm happy for him, happy for Coach Scott Drew and all that he's done. Here's one that pops up, will go over us, and it'll take a bounce just inside the park. The count at two and two on the foul ball. Josh saw one earlier as it took a bounce over into the street and it smacked a Cadillac in the window. Oh, I hate to see it. Oh, man. You better have baseball insurance. <laughs> Do they have that? I mean, you know, it's, or would that be called just an act of God if you're passing a ballpark? <laughs> Here's a 2-2. Two -two, swing and a miss. Got it for the third out. And Wes Nesky coming alive for Sam Houston as the Bearcats hold on to a three-run lead. It's three up, three down as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. My name is Jane Monday, former mayor of Huntsville, and I'm asking you to join me voting yes for HISD bond issue on Saturday, May 1st. The time is now, so vote yes for our kids and our future. Remember, our kids, our voice, their future, our choice. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. This is Tim Rushing with Charlie's Used Cars. As most of you have seen or know, we are being affected by the I-45 freeway expansion. I assure you we are open and ready to serve you with your next vehicle purchase. We have driveway access off the I-45 feeder road as well as easy access off of Normal Park Drive. Charlie's Used Cars has been serving the area for 48 years and offers quality pre-owned vehicles and superior customer service. I encourage you to stop by and see us at 230 I-45 South here in Huntsville or visit us online at Charlie's Used Cars. Com. If you needed major surgery, you probably wouldn't choose a doctor who's never been to medical school. So when your car needs major repairs after a collision, why would you take your car to a body shop that's never been trained? Amaya's Collision Center is among only 15% of collision repair businesses to meet the industry's highest training standards as a gold class shop. They know the latest repair techniques, how to find hidden damage, and how to repair your car's critical safety features so they work properly again. With the safety of your vehicle and your family at stake, choose trained repair professionals. Choose Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our tracks, equinoxes, blazers, and traverses. You can get up to $4,750 in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons, and the one ton heavy duty Silverados available with up to $4,250 in purchase allowance. So hurry into Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. All right, welcome back, friends. New pitcher on the mound for the Aggies. Mason Ornelas will have his information coming up here as we're ready to get back in action. Six, seven, and eight to lead off here for Sam Houston. It is Bryce Holmes, a swing and a miss on an 88-mile-an-hour fastball that counted 0-1. You know, if you're Texas A&M, this can't be what you want to see. Already on your sixth pitcher of the night here in the seventh inning, and you know, midweek game for them doesn't count towards their conference record, and already kind of burning out those arms for the weekend. Next pitch to the outside, one ball, one strike. Talk about Mason Ornelas, 1-0 this season. 17 and two-thirds innings pitch. Eight runs on 15 hits. All eight of those runs were earned. He has walked three, swinging a miss here to bring it to one and two. Eight, as I mentioned earlier, those runs are earned. Walk three, struck out 23, allowed three doubles, one a home run. This is a right-handed pitcher of 4.08 ERA. 421 on the leadoff. Next pitch to the outside to even the count at two and two. Mason or Nellis, the sophomore out of Fort Worth, Texas, went to LD Bell High School, 2 2 pitch. Pulled back here to bring it to a full count at three and two. Here in the bottom of this seventh. Ornelas, the payoff pitch on the way from the right hand. And he's out. Didn't, couldn't tell. We had some folks walking in front. I couldn't <laughs> tell if he swung or looked at that one, but regardless, he's out. Yeah, the umpire rung him up on that one, but if you're a Bearcat fan, you got to love how Sam Houston's watching the plate so far tonight. I mean, it, it, I've lost count of how many times 
these past two innings where batters have stretched this to five, six pitch at bats or more. Go to seventh in the order, Blake Fachers. He chops one over to the mound, an easy throw for the second out. Goodness, the wind is picking up. <laughs> we see the old NAIA championship banner from, of course, it's not from the 60s, but it's noting that championship in the 60s. That thing's got about two or three more threads, Josh, before it's completely ripped in half. It's definitely on its last leg, it looks like. <laughs> Eighth in the order, the third baseman for the Cats, Mason Schultz, the left-handed batter. Pitch on the way, an 86 mile an hour across the plate, swung on it for a strike, 0 and 1. You know, while we got Texas A&M in town, got to mention the latest Texas A&M to Sam Houston connection. Bearcat basketball team picking up a huge graduate transfer in Savion Flag from the Aggies. I mean, that's a former four-star recruit and the number four player in the entire state coming out of high school a couple years back. Great pickup indeed for Sam Houston. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This one to the outside. One ball and two strikes. Josh, with this wind, you would think that there was a another polar vortex moving in. Here's a 1-2. This time looked at it for another strike. Strike out 1-2 and 3. Well, Josh, appreciate you being here. I know you said you got uh, work you got to get hopping on, but uh, you're welcome up any time that the headphone is sitting there, my friend. Thanks for all you do. And to our listeners, you'll be able to hear Josh all game on a Saturday, man. So excited about that, brother. Yeah, looking forward to it. Appreciate you having me on. All right. Well, that is Josh Criswell, the Huntsville item. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll be back in a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. Eric Barbosa with Henson Chevy Buick GMC. During Chevy Truck Month, we're rolling back prices on our hottest trucks and SUVs. Our low prices are now even lower on all new Chevys like 2020 Silverados and GMC Sierras. Save even more with 0% for 72 months and make no payments until the summer. Plus get a warranty for life with no deductibles and unlimited miles at no cost to you. We even deliver for free from our store to your door. We get you rolling for less at Henson Chevy. We're dealer for life. Henson Chevy online at HensonChevy.com. The inaugural Run With Your Imagination 5K Color Run benefiting Walker County's Dolly Parton Imagination Library is coming soon. The Imagination Library provides books free of charge to children from birth to age 5. Currently, 750 children in Walker County take part in this program. This color run will happen on May 1st, 2021 at the Teacher Education Center at SHSU. The cost is $25 a runner and that fee will provide one child with one book for a month for a year. Visit online at Run With Your Imagination. Imagination.com. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. My name is Jane Monday, former mayor of Huntsville, and I'm asking you to join me voting yes for HISD bond issue. If you are 65 or older, voting yes will not cost you any additional tax money. Remember, our kids, our boys, their future, our choice. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. March Madness is here, and so is the March Madness sales event right here at Wiesner in Huntsville. Come take advantage of these great deals and get $3,450 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Encore GX and a 2021 all-new redesigned Buick Envision or $4,700 in purchase allowance on the 2021 Buick Encore. You get up to $5,950 in purchase allowance on a 2021 Buick Enclave. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner in Huntsville or online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. All right, friends, welcome back. Rob Vip here, 1017 KSAM of the Bearcat Sports Network as we get things started here in the top of this eighth inning. New pitcher on the mound for your Cats. It is Alex Havlicek. Havlicek, a right-handed pitcher here, 4.7 ERA. One and one this season, pitched in seven and two-thirds innings, allowing four runs on seven hits. All four of those runs were earned. Walked five, struck out six and allowed one double, also two home runs. Leading off is three, four, and five. Will Frizzell, first pitch across for a strike, 0-1. Oh, so a good start here for Havlicek. This is a sophomore out of Oakland, New Jersey. Six foot five, 220. Next pitch, too low for the ball. One ball and one strike.
Havlicek again. Pitching to Will Frizzell. Here's the next delivery. Oh, beautiful pitch as it drops in on the off speed for a strike, one and two. One ball, two st strikes here, nobody on. Sam Houston leading eight to five. Here in the top of the eighth, hosting the Aggies. Next pitch on the way, swing and a miss. Got him for the first out. One away here in the top of the eighth brings up fourth in the order, the designated hitter, Austin Boast. One for three today. Had the home run for the second run of the Aggies back in the first. The previous inning, by the way, for Sam Houston is the first inning that they hadn't scored in since all the way back in the second. Here's the first pitch on the way to the outside. One ball, no strikes. Justin Kring joining us in the booth. Appreciate you, Justin. Hope you're doing okay tonight. Always chiming in. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss to bring it to 0-2. Also, my wonderful mother north of Austin back in Georgetown listening. Shirley Hip alongside Estelle Kimbrough. Thank you all. Love you. Appreciate you joining us here. Bearcats leading 8-5 in the top of the eighth. One away, 0-2 current count. Next pitch got away for the first ball, one and two. One ball, two strikes, one away, nobody on. Havlicek with a pitch. This one bounces into the backstop. Luckily, nobody on. We counted two and two, even things up here. Mentioned earlier these wins out of the southeast at 10, gusting to 21. We're down to 74 degrees here in Huntsville, Texas. Winds still about the same as they were at first pitch. Here on a 3-1, Bost will reach on the walk. Take us a fifth in the order. The left fielder, Ryan Targach. Targach 0 for 3, struck out every time he's been at bat here so far tonight. It's another left-handed batter here for the Aggies. Havlicek on the mound, base runner on one, one away. This one chopped up into the air, throw over to second. That runner is out, trying to go back to first, but the base runner is out, keeping him out of scoring position. Good field work there by the Cats for the second out. So Targats will reach on the fielder's choice. Adam Bost is out for the second out. Good play out there by Vines as he threw it over to short to McKenzie. Six in the order, Zane Schmidt. Beautiful fastball at 93 miles an hour across the plate for a strike at 0-1. Here's the next pitch. This one swung on hard, hit foul way behind. Bearcat Country press box. Counted 0 and 2. That runner remains over at first. Targach, who reached on the fielder's choice just a few moments ago. Here's the 0 2 from Havlicek. Ooh, that one's close. Some of the fans here, I think, are wanting it. Too far to the outside. One ball, two strikes. The fourth pitcher on the mound for Sam Houston tonight. Here's the next delivery. This one hit over to second. The flip 
to Short, and that'll do it. Great field work by Pruitt. Over to McKenzie for the third and final out as we move through seven and a half to the bottom of the eighth. We'll be back in one minute. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. This is B.J. McMichael, a minister at a local church here in town. As a community leader, I believe it is my responsibility to leverage whatever influence, position, and voice I have for the most vulnerable in our community. The most vulnerable in our community are our children. Join me to vote yes today to upgrade their tomorrow. Vote yes for HISD champion. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD champion. Oh no, oh no, oh no! You need to get to WC Auto Center. Since 1997, the pros at WC Auto Center speak perfect car language and they'll quickly find and fix what's wrong. Cutting edge diagnostics, expert, experienced technicians, unparalleled service. You can trust WC Auto Center to get to the root of the problem and get you back on speaking terms with your car. Fast! WC Auto Center. They'll turn oh no, oh no, oh no into... All right, all right, all right. All right, friends, welcome back. Rob Hibb at it here. Thanks for joining us. 916 in East Texas. Beautiful night for baseball here at the Don in Huntsville. Sam Houston leading the Aggies 8 to 5. Texas A&M making a trip down 30. Sam Houston taking care of business as they'll try to hold on here. Again, as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Start things here for Sam Houston. It is Pruitt. The first pitch on the way to him to the outside to Brandon Pruitt. Early count here, 1-0. Oh. Again, Sam Houston leading 8-5. Bottom of the eighth we are. No outs. First pitch on the or second pitch on the way. This one chopped foul. Bounces into the wall off that third base side just to the left of the Bearcats' dugout. The count even at one ball and one strike. Ornelas' next pitch to the outside for a ball two and one. Here's the next one. This one chopped over to the hump and foul. The count even at two balls and two strikes. No outs, nobody on. So we're here in the bottom of this eighth inning. Sam Houston with a three-run advantage. Maybe with just a little more insurance that they're looking for. Zaggy team can't ever count them out. Ornell is taking time. Right-handed pitch to the right-handed batter on the way. This one. That one is fair off the third baseline. Should be a double as Pruitt will round over to second, sliding double for Pruitt in plenty of time. How about that for a leadoff double, Brandon Pruitt. Pruitt has gotten on base three out of his four bats here today. That'll take us back to the top of the order, the shortstop, Anthony McKenzie. McKenzie reached on a fielder's choice back in the third, came around and scored. Also reached on a walk in the sixth inning. Well, Sam Houston in scoring position now with Pruitt over at second. And there's a no out, sliding double. First pitch on the way here to McKenzie. Just too short, 1-0 -oh count. I just mentioned earlier, Sam Houston looking for a little insurance, a little extra insurance here, and they may get it. The bats have been hot here for Sam Houston. Cats 9 of 31, 290. Places bunt. This one goes right into the net of the backstop. The count even at one ball and one strike on Anthony McKenzie. And no outs here for the Cats. They're 5 of 12 tonight with runners on, 2 of 7 with runners in scoring position.
Ornelas taking his time. Here's the right-handed delivery. The bunt is placed. Runner will take off to third. The throw and the tag is made at first. But you do what you have to to put Pruitt over at third. McKenzie is out. So Pruitt over at third. We are one out here in the bottom of the eighth. Sam Houston leading eight to five, hosting the Aggies here in Huntsville. It'll bring up the left fielder, Jack Rogers. How about add another home run to his career here tonight? Also scoring twice, had a leadoff single, came around and scored back in the fifth on the RBI single from Gavin Johnson. Left-handed batter, right-handed pitch, swing and a miss on an 88-mile-an-hour fastball across the plate. The count 0-1 on Jack Rogers. Rodgers two for four, the junior lefty, 340 here this evening and tonight. Here's the 0-1 pitch from Ornelas, swing and a miss on an 88-mile-an-hour fastball across the plate. Joshua Harris back at Oak Ridge, cheering on the cat still. Appreciate you, my friend. Maybe a know of someone. Men 18 and older who are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Friends, that light can be found at the Oak Ridge Disciple House. Please visit them online at OakRidgeDiscipleHouse.com. That's OakRidgeDiscipleHouse.com. Doesn't matter where you're at. They're not interested in your money. They're interested in helping you find help. First pitch here, or the next pitch here to the outside, one and two. In fact, Josh will tell you they don't turn anybody away because of money. One ball, two strikes, one away. Runner over at third for the Cats, leading eight to five here in the bottom of the eight. Swing and a miss here for the second out. Good fastball there, 89 miles an hour from Ornelas across the plate. Brings up third in the order, the center fielder, Colton Kowser. Had the home run to get things started for the Cats back in the first. Struck out looking for the second out in the third. Had a single in the fifth, left stranded over at third. Reached on a walk, left stranded at second back in the sixth. And they're going to intentionally walk him as uh, we saw that in the sixth inning as well. So now runners on one and three. The last time they intentionally walked didn't work out too well for him. Bring up fourth in the order, Gavin Johnson. Two runs were scored after that intentional walk in the previous inning. Two outs we are, runners on the corners for the Cats. Ornelas on the mound. Kicks up his left leg, right-handed pitch, swing and a miss. 79 mile an hour off speed. Down low, got him to bite, 0-1. Oh Johnson one for three today. Average 299, the senior, lefty. This one swung on late, foul into the back of the backstop. 0-2. Oh Ornelas looking in. Runners remain on first and third for Sam Houston. Kowser at first, Pruitt at third. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Got him for the third out. No runs in the bottom of the eighth on a single hit. No errors, leaving two on. Bearcats three outs away from a victory here tonight. As we move to the top of the ninth, still some baseball left. Stay with us. We'll be back in one minute right here on the Bearcat Sports Network. The HISD bond election is being held on Saturday, May 1st. Here's what a local taxpayer has to say about this election. My name's Michelle Spencer, CEO of the Boys and Girls Club of Walker County, and I vote yes for the Huntsville ISD bond election. This bond is so important for our children, our kids, our boys, their future, our choice. Vote yes for the Huntsville ISD champions. Early voting is April 19th through April 27th at the Walker County Storm Shelter. Political ad paid for by Building for HISD Champions. Eric Barbosa for Henson Ford. During truck month, we're rolling back prices on America's best-selling truck. Our low truck prices are now even lower on Fords like 2020 F-150 Supercrew XLT and 
and expeditions. Save even more with 0% for 72 months and make no payments until the summer. Plus, get a warranty for life with no deductibles and unlimited miles at no cost to you. We even deliver for free from our store to your door. We get you all in for less at Henson Ford. We're dealer for life. Henson Ford. HensonFord.com. American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. March brings warmer weather and even hotter deals right here at Wiesner and Huntsville, just in time for the county fairs and rodeos. We've got great deals on all of our 2021 GMC terrains and 2021 GMC Acadias. You can get up to $5,700 off in purchase allowance. We even have half tons, three quarter tons, and the one ton heavy duty GMC Sierra available with up to $5,500 in purchase allowance. So hurry to Wiesner and Huntsville for the best selection or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. GMC is professional grade. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here as we start at the top of the night. Live from the Don in Huntsville, Texas. Sam Houston leading the Aggies 8-5. to five. The Cats three outs away. And they will try to finish up things with Lance Lusk on the mound for Sam Houston. The right-handed pitcher, 4.15 ERA, 1-1 one one this season. Five saves, 21 and two-thirds innings pitched. Allowed 14 runs on 21 hits. Ten of those runs were earned. Walked seven, struck out 20. Also has allowed one home run. We'll go to the bottom of the order, 7, 8, and 9 for the Aggies. Logan Britt, first pitch on the way, 93 mile an hour heater across the plate for a strike, 0 and 1. Lance Lusk out of Spring, Texas, by way of Angelina College. Here's the 0 1 pitch, foul tip, and the backstop, 0 and 2. Good friend in North Carolina joining us, Brian Snow. They call him Snowman. He said he just got wrapped up doing a baseball game. Appreciate you, Brian. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Logan Britt, left-handed batter. Lance Lusk on the mound, shrugs his shoulders, kicks up the left leg, right-handed delivery. This one, oh, that's a single over to right. He may come around for two. And on his way, and a stand-up double here, leadoff stand-up double for Logan Britt. Now, not what Sam Houston wanted to dial up here, as that is your sixth run on second, your seventh at home plate. Brings up the catcher, eighth in the hole, the catcher, Mikey Honer. 0 for 2 today, reached on a walk. Part of the three runs scored back in the second. Right-handed batter, right-handed pitcher, Lance Lusk. Your preseason all-south and conference by perfect game. Pitcher on the mound here, the pitch on the way across the plate for a strike at 88 miles an hour, 0 and 1. Again, Bearcats just three outs away here from taking care of business. before they start things back up. Here's one that is grounded over to second. Pruitt with the throw to first in time. The runner will advance though, Brent over to third. One away. Brings us down to the bottom of the order, Kalai Harrison. The shortstop for Texas A&M. Speaking of which for Sam Houston, they'll start things back on the road. It's actually a pinch hitter out there now for Texas A&M. So it is a pinch hitter out there. It is not Honer. Here's the pitch on the way. Clip the corner for a strike. Hard to see from this angle, just waiting on the official score to get updated. That is Coleman out there for Texas A&M, the pinch hitter. 0-1 count on Coleman, here's the next one. Across the plate again for a strike, 0-2. It is Ty Coleman. 
Junior right-handed batter here for the Aggies, trying to bring some life with a runner at third. Here's the next pitch. Oh, the Bearcat fans wanting that when they didn't get it. One ball, two strikes. Again, one away. Sam Houston leading eight to five. Your sixth score is at third base. The seventh run at home plate. One and two count on pinch hitter Ty Coleman here at the bottom of the order. Lusk pitch on the way. This one takes a hop over to first. The throw back over to Lusk. The tag is there. And the Cats one out away. As a run will come in and score, though, for Sam Houston. Britt is in there for the sixth run. That will take us back to the top of the order to Bryce Blom. It's now eight to six, two outs we are. Nobody on. Pitch on the way to Blom. Across the plate for a strike. 94 miles an hour on that one from Lance Lusk. Sam Houston, nine th for 33 tonight, 273. Here's the next pitch. Too high upstairs to even the count at one and one. Blom 0 for 4 here tonight. Lusk taking his time. Here's the right-handed pitch. This time the curve too low, two balls and one strike. Mentioned earlier for Sam Houston, they'll hit the road to New Orleans. Starting on Friday, another four-game series. Of course, every game a four-game series this year in the Southland. Here's the 2-1 pitch on the way. Across the plate to even the count at 2-2. Two two. Well, the fans getting on their feet here as the Bearcats one strike away from defeating the Aggies. Cats have lost two in a row. Last victory was back in College Station on 2017. Here's the next one, this one. Over to short. What a grab by McKenzie. The throw to first, but the runner is safe. Great effort, though, by McKenzie as he leapt out for that one, hauled it in, threw to Vines at first, but it was just not in enough time as Blom was able to beat it out for the single. So it's a two-out single here for Blom. He's resting over at first. Aggies trailing eight to six. Things getting a little interesting here. Second in the order, the center fielder, Ray Alejo. Alejo tonight, two of three, averaging 359, 33 hits, 12 revised this season. Take his time. A couple of the fans here making their way from Texas A&M, cheering on the Aggies. A lot of Huntsville faithful here, Bearcat faithful here in Huntsville. Sam Houston is looking for their first victory versus Texas A&M here in the Don going all the way back to 2013. Here's the first pitch. Runner will take off over to second, and the stolen base is there, and he's in scoring position as Blom. Alejo, 1-0 count. Alejo is your tying run at home plate. Lusk looks over at second. Here's the pitch. Low to the outside, two balls and no strikes. The Aggies had not scored since the second inning. They picked up that lone tally mark here in the ninth, all of it happening in two out territory. Sam Houston trying to hold on here. Leading eight to six in the top of the ninth, two away. Here's Lust pitch on the way. This time paints the corner for a strike, two and one. Runner remaining over at second for the Aggies is Blom. Lusk, his pitch on the way. This one hit over. That is a base hit. 
Over to right. And runners will remain at the quarter over there at third. Blom did not have a chance to come in, and now your tie-breaking run is at home plate. We're going to have a little possible discussion here for a few moments. No, nope, they're going to let him play. So now runners on the corners for Texas A&M. All this happening here in two outs. First baseman number 50, Will Frizzell. It'll bring up the first baseman, Will Frizzell. Frizzell one for three here tonight. Back to a left-handed batter, Lusk. Trying to hold on. That is your game tying run at home plate for Texas A&M. Lust takes some time, steps up. Frizzell also steps out, now back into that left box. Lusk with the pick attempt over to first. Base runner safe. And Sam Houston, their last victory here versus Texas A&M at the Don was back in 2013 when it was an 11 inning, nine to eight victory. That one went extra. Go back to 2019, the last two times these teams met. Here's the pitch, clipped the corner for a strike, 0 and 1 on Will Frizzell. Of course, did not get to play last year. It was only the second time since 1984 that these two teams didn't play. That was because of the COVID. So you go back to April the 30th of 2019 here at the Don. It was a A&M blowout, 15 to 5, and the run rule of seven innings. A lot different here tonight. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Low to the inside, evens the count at 1-1. One and one. Tony Kulak joining us saying, eat them up, Cats. Sam Houston two strikes away, but the Aggies Showing some pressure here in the ninth. Runners remain on one and three. Lusk kicks up. Here's the pitch. Bearcat fans wanting the strike. They didn't get it. It's a ball two and one. 91 mile an hour fastball was not called a strike. It was a ball. Lusk, pitch on the way. This time it's across the plate for a strike. Two and two. It was a 2-2 two -two back to Bryce Blum. Back at the top, Will Frizzell, you go back two batters later, finds himself in a 2-2. Two -two. Bearcat fans clapping here on a 2-2. The pitch on the way. This one over to right. It is going deep. Tracking it down is Fager, and that'll do it. The Bearcats take care of the Aggies. 8-6. It's the first time since April the 16th, 2013, that Huntsville has defeated AM here in Huntsville. And a two-game skid comes to an end as Sam Houston defeating the Aggies 8-6 to six here tonight. We'll step aside and take a brief break. When we come back, we'll break this one down. Stay with us post-game coming up on the Bearcat Sports Network. COVID-19 rapid testing is now available at Texpress Urgent Care in Huntsville. No symptoms are needed. Now you can get tested even faster and get your results back faster too. Not sure which test is right for you? Texpress Urgent Care is happy to help. For more details, call 936-570-2626. No appointments are needed, walk-ins only. Texpress Urgent Care Clinic, located at 193 I-45 South. Check their website at TexpressUrgentCare.com and visit them on Facebook. That's Texpress Urgent Care next to Sports Clips in Huntsville. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Weaver Hyundai to get a real deal? And during Hyundai Spring Upgrade Sales event, save even more. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL or a 2021 Tucson SE, your choice, $19.88. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. Or a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SEL, only $24,888. Or 0% for 72 months plus $1,000 plus no payment for 90 days. Exit 87B, Wilson Road in Conroe, or WeaserHyundai.com. Check out America's Best Warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and the Hyundai Assurance Program today. 
Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here, post game 1017 K Sab of the Bearcat Sports Network as Sam Houston takes care of business versus Texas AM 8 to 6. The first time since 2013 that Huntsville are here in Huntsville that the Bearcats have defeated the Aggies. And the first time in two games that Sam Houston victorious. But they take care of it here tonight. They allowed AM to jump out to an early five run lead back in the second. It was five to one. But we saw Sambera come in. And the Bearcats looking strong halfway through as they scored three runs in the third, one apiece in the fourth and fifth, two in the sixth, and that was enough for the eight to six victory. AM though made it interesting in that final frame with runners on one and three, putting up a run there in that final frame of action and an opportunity to possibly take the lead. But Sam Houston able to hold on again, eight to six, your final tonight. For Texas AM, Nathan Detmer. Uh, finished up in this ball game, the 1.77 ERA. We'll go over all that here in a minute. The loss is credited to Jonathan Childress, now two and four on the season. The win for Tanner Simbera, his first win, one and zero. Oh. The save by Lance Lusk, and it took a lot. Lance Lusk able to get that save. The offensive leaders for Sam Houston: Rogers, two of five, a home run, three RBIs. Colton Cowser was two for three. A home run and an RBI as well. Mason Schultz, two for four. He had an RBI. Pruitt, two for three as he doubled. And then Gavin Johnson, one for four, two RBIs. A lot of stakes cooking here tonight at the Don. For Texas A&M, Alejo goes three for four. Britt, two for four as he doubled. Also hit the home run, one RBI. Blom with an RBI. Frizzell with an RBI. Boast, one for three. He had a home run, one RBI. And Harrison doubled in this ball game. So again, Sam Houston taking care of business at their home turf, defeating Texas A&M seven in a row now for Sam Houston as they will head on the road to New Orleans for that four game series starting on Friday. The Bearcats going through five pitchers. Matt Rudis pitched two innings, allowing five runs on five hits. All five of those runs were earned. He walked two, struck out two. Simbera gets the win, as I talked about earlier, now 1-0 on the season, picking up his first win. He pitched three innings, one hit, no runs, struck out five. Cole Wisniewski pitched for two innings, walked one, struck out two. Havlicek came in, only pitched an inning as he walked one, struck out one. And Lance Lusk with the save, his sixth of the year, pitching in one inning, allowing one run on three hits. That one run was earned. Total pitch count tonight as Rudis had 55, Simbera with 42, Wesneski 26, Havlicek only 14, and Lusk on the save with 23. So again, Sam Houston victorious tonight, eight to six. It's been a fun one to call here outdoors. Want to thank everybody here at Sam Houston, including Ben Riker, Jason Barfield, and athletic director, coach Bobby Williams. Appreciate all that they do. Also our good friends from Texas A&M here tonight. Good friend, Andrew Monaco, appreciate him. Uh, for being here as well. Always fun to have Andrew in the house. And I want to thank everybody back at KSAM Studios, including Nathan Williams, our Director of Operations, Steve Ricks, General Manager, Dave Donahue. Also, last but certainly not least, a big thank you to Huntsville Items Sports Editor, Josh Criswell, for sitting in with me on this one. Sam Houston, victorious 8-6. to six. Friends, as I end every broadcast, reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there tonight needs you. Good night, and God bless from Huntsville, Texas. Only 15% of collision repair shops achieve ICAR Gold Class status, the highest training level recognized in the industry. Amaya's Collision Center at 686 I-45 is proud to be one of them. They know the latest repair techniques, how to find hidden damage, and how to repair your car's critical safety features so they work properly again. They invest in training because they would never cut corners with your family's safety at stake, and neither should you. Get your vehicle repaired at Amaya's Collision Center, 686 I-45, where your safety is their top priority. Lose yourself among the majestic trees and natural beauty of the East Texas Piney 